to speak. Mm. Uh, so, how is everyone doing? Mm -hmm. Better. Grave, how are you? You good? Mm hmm. He's currently he eating a butter chicken pie. Oh. I got three of them. Damn. Uh. They're how's the. Small, How's the motorcycle? Uh, he wasn't Lemme riding a motorcycle. motorcycle. Uh, what was accident again? No, 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 it was it was a public scooter. Yeah. Ah, a pub, a pub, a public what? how's a, how's the scooter? I mean, the scooter didn't take any damage. I wish it did. So you had you didn't take any. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Paying to replace the, that would cost more than the dentist. At least the dentist, I can say, yeah, government pay for this shit. I mean, yeah, at least it's nothing else. Like, yeah. Thank, thank God. Yeah, yeah no. It's... Wait, I I know what it's like to have a cracked tooth. That shit not is comfy, painful. But I I got off lightly. I would say. Judging by what I've seen, yeah, you've gotten off pretty lightly, Grave. Like, mm. it, that could have been so much worse. I have mm. seen worse. I have experienced, maybe not worse, but still pretty bad. Mm. Like, well, I guess your tooth isn't cracked, it's chipped, but still. Mm. Just from the photo you sent, yeah, it... it, it the it, tooth is damaged. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> so, okay. uh, my day has gone pretty good, uh, Doggo. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Who's cracking something in the fork? mic? Uh, I, uh, for some reason, I was chewing a plastic Feed fork. Feed your hungry. <laughs> Without okay. realizing. Hmm. <laughs> Also, Zephyr Nuggies. Zephyr what? <laughs> Something I just posted in general. Will you finally feed your hungry oh, Zephyr Nuggies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <gasps> I mean, she is an angel, so of course she's going to be a monster. Of course, when she's angie, she's going to be like a biblically accurate angel. <laughs> <laughs> The Zephyr Nuggies. <laughs> Zephyr Nuggies. Not feed war do not feed Warframes to other Warframes. That is bad. <laughs> That's how we end up with shit like Leviathan. Or no Atlantis. Mm. <laughs> no, I might be thinking about Jordan. No, Jordis was just the Zephyr that got lots of Anyways. <clears throat> Do not feed infested to other infested. It will lead to nothing but bad. Anyways, so. Little recap for everyone. Last session, the party had... A party who is right now consisting of Boshed and Jericho. As the Benui has disappeared. Ooh. <clears throat> oh no. So and he was never heard from again. <laughs> Good ending. <laughs> the best ending. So, anyways. So, the Banui disappeared. And Boshed and Jericho continued deeper into the Meta Vault, working through some of the traumas and able to get through to the middle of the Meta Vault. It was a hard and perilous journey. Nugget brand nugget nuggies. The um, whole chicken condemned down to the bite size peas. Um, PB. <laughs> yes, sorry. Do you mind just quickly giving me uh, another character sheet for my journal? Oh, sure. Sorry. I do apologize. That is something I kept forgetting to do for you. I do apologize, honey bunny. It is okay. Alright. 
so, uh, so, where was I? Ah, yes. <clears throat> so, the party has, so the party, uh, after entering the Meta Vault, Jericho, uh, honestly did his best. The luck. He, he, he did his best, TM. With his best TM. <laughs> oh, that makes us sound so cursed. You you did your best. You, you worked through quite a bit of it. You you were able to venture towards what you wanted, and then you spilled the beans about her being dead. But we managed to get her back to reality. <laughs> well, not exactly. Uh, you met all the conditions for a very secret ending, of of a certain demon manifesting. Doing, doing what should have doing, doing something that apparently a mortal could not do, which she believed was a very simple task, and then fucking off with the metal vaults collapsing around them as they barely are able to escape. It's it's it, it's not so much that um it, it's it's not so much that a mortal can't do it. It's that she entrusted an adult autistic male to do it. Oh yes, of course, Doggo with the ham meme. Um, <clears throat> so, the party was just barely able to escape the Meta Vault before it fully collapsed with them on a floating island in the sky, the gateway behind them closing and breaking down, seeming to be pulled inside of the, colla of the collapsing uh, metaphysical space. Before Jadul will Tokyo drift through the atmosphere, a whole last dreadnought class starship, let pick up the party and rocket back up to the orbital shipyard. So we will start off on the rocketing up to the orbital shipyard part, uh, where we'll actually be starting with Boshed. As you are, uh, what what do you do after you are brought in through the airlock? Um, Caesar. Yeah. Uh, could you give me ideas on what well, I, I could possibly do? Well, you're currently standing in the airlock of a gigantic battle of a gigantic ship that just literally Tokyo drifted through the atmosphere. To get to you. Um, hallelujah, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't know how I'm right actually I'm supposed to give, sorry. Uh, no, you're fine. I'm just wondering what you do when, when you get, when, okay, so, we'll go Jericho then, as a boss, just, I just imagine it's, sitting down in the airlock. It's, 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 it's gonna be like a downtime session, okay? There's, yeah. there's no right or wrong answers. Yeah, no, there is no right or wrong answers, this is just... Downtime, RP, you guys, I have been throwing you guys through literal tons of combat and sessions that aren't, that have been life or death stakes, and I'm just like, okay, you guys have earned some downtime. A, ch a chance to take a breather. This is the between missions. So, well, let's go to Jericho then. As Jericho, uh, you are helping carry Nikki inside of the ship as the duel has already let, has already entered and ran down the hallways in her in her mecha body, and she's running down the hallways, uh, carrying a alive in heavy quotation marks, Lyrell. Mm-hmm. I believe the last we left him, Iris was uh, carrying Jericho and Lyrell inside. Ah, uh, yes, no, uh, no, no, no. Uh, Iris is carrying you and uh, Nikki, not Lyrell. Mm. I do apologize. <clears throat> yeah, the duel is carrying Lyrell. You're, yes. you're, you're good. Yes, yes. <clears throat> so, so Jericho, you are being carried in by one of your. You're being carried in by one of your two girlfriends, who is uh, in the other under the other arm of the of said girlfriend. 
<laughs> and you two are being carried off to and you are being carried off to your room and <laughs> there is and you can see that the ship has to say that it's changed is an understatement From the outside, Aww. the Starship Velociraptor looks roughly the same, same shape, same design, but clearly there has been some things done to it. On the inside, yeah, no, there has been a lot of changes made. Their corn worshippers now blood everywhere. No, actually. The best way I can honestly describe the walls and everything to you is... It honestly resembles a metallic stone. There is no seams anywhere. It is strange. There's no seams, there's no bolts, there's no signs of construction, except for lines that go from place to place, and holographic, and holographic interfaces every now and then, to doors or to panels or whatever. It's... Hmm. Honestly, quite strange. You've heard theories about this kind of stuff. Uh, if you give me a grit check or maybe a uh, techie check that you think would fit. Maybe you can try to remember some of this stuff. Mm. Twenty-four. Right, Twenty-four. <laughs> so, Jericho. But what's so funny, Benny? <laughs> that is incredibly funny. <laughs> God damn it! I am adding Slayer. I am adding Slayer right fucking now. <laughs> I know she's at a, a Scottish festival, but still, I am adding her right now. <laughs> so, the so uh, Jericho, you remember reading about uh, theories regarding construction, re uh, regarding seamless construction in the future, and even something called, even even hearing theories about something called a called diecast construction. Which honestly mm -hmm. resembles quite a bit of what you're seeing here, and with the, even with that, ch and also with that check with how high it is, you can immediately tell this is Yavin. This is Yavin tech all the way through. And here just just flicks on his comes. Like, Jadul, have you been remodeling? Yes, I have procured everything needed to upgrade the Starship Velociraptor to acceptable standards. Uh huh. Just, just gotta, just gotta compete with me for making the better starship, huh? No, I'm simply using technology that would be befitting of the successor. This is their ship, after all. Yes, but they also want this ship to be comfy. I have taken every liberty to ensure that comfort is, it has remained. All right. And, and and as you're moving and as you're walking through, you actually do see Rem and like little drones working to like make make things like paint the walls and everything. <laughs> Just like paint the walls, make things in more nice colors like pink, blue, stuff like that. Like, very clearly taking the time to just make the place a bit more comfy to to a rem. But it, you do see that there is still a lot of the original design left. It just seems like a lot has been upgraded immensely. Mm -hmm. uh, with you eventually, with, with Iris eventually carrying you and Nikki's unconscious body into your guys' room, and it, to describe the room is to describe it torn up, messy, uh, uh, torn to shreds. As Iris will just 
set down, we'll just sit you down in like what in like a very comfy lounge chair before placing Nikki onto a mattress that was clearly just brought in before you guys got there. And then she'll turn to you. I do ap apologize for the inconvenience. The room is being re-put together after Nikki found out that you were coming back. She got a little, um, excited, huh? You can say that. She has... The crew has been... I will be completely honest. The crew has been in hysterics keeping her... Trying to keep her from tearing anyone apart. Mm. She was threatening to break into the vault and use Yavin weaponry to get you back. That's my girl. Yes. Though I do not... Though I do not disagree with her wants to ensure your ret safe return, I can disagree with the actions leading to it. But that can be a dis uh, discussion for another time. For now, I am simply happy that you have returned. As she will just give you a hug. Mm. Now, if you can fill me in on what exactly happened, I would be most interested. So, but I ended up creating a meta vault. Error. Unknown terminology used. So, when the NHP gets out of hand, they create an extra-dimensional space. I see. And... But Miss Slaypel is not an NHP. She is a Ren. That is... That is correct. However, those crystal tails of hers, you know, the gift from <sighs> So those apparently put her in tune with the veil, and the more trauma she got, the more they would grow, and the more powerful that would get. Hmm. I see. It is a rather unique set of circumstances. Hmm. I'm back. I understand. I take it that you were successful in retrieving her, then? Yes. Jadul has her right now. That is good. Jadul will hopefully stop destroying starships now that she has been recovered. She just leans in. She has been incredibly moody. I imagine. She, I overheard a conversation with an entity known as Legion. He sounded scared. Mm. I do not know who this Legion is, but they sounded incredibly scared from what I overheard. But hopefully, um, he just tilts her head. Will you be needing replacements for your augmentics, or will those, or will that be taken care of in time? I'll probably need to have some new ones printed. I understand. Shall I warm up the the nano foundry? Yes, please. Of course. With a soft nod, she will leave the room. Uh, Boshed. Oui. For you, what exactly would you be wanting to try and 
uh, do. Uh, as you're just like sitting in the airlock right now as the ship has finally made dock with the orbital shipyard. Um, you know, I, I, I was happy listening to all the stuff that was Jericho was doing, to be honest. Um, <laughs> uh, could I maybe, I don't know, maybe I, can I just tag along? Um, no. So, you, you want to try and enter the ship? Am I not already in this ship? Well, you're currently in the airlock. Are you trying to enter past the airlock? Well, am I supposed to be locked in the airlock now? I, I'm asking because of reasons. No, I'm just confused why Jericho would say no. Well, well, when you do try to enter, you're actually blocked by a by some XO1s and Jadul's voice pops up over the over the intercom. I am sorry, but you do not have permission from Miss from Captain Lyrell to enter the ship. Once, okay, then. once we have made contact, you will be given lodging at the orbital ship platform. Oh, fuck. Ow. I guess I'm just going to go sit in the corner then. Have fun. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just like, this is how Jadul is. You know what? Let a, make a, let a head crab just attack him from a, from the corner. Or something, I don't know. This is Latch, half life one. Latch, right? latch onto his head. Uh, like, what's it going to do? Nibble on me? Yes. Alrighty. Moving on. I, I do apologize. <clears throat> so, you guys are. So, okay, so. Uh, so, uh, Jericho, what do you spend the next few days doing? As, uh, oh. Iris is helping you out, and eventually Nikki does wake up, and she is very cuddly. Yes, m much cuddles. <laughs> Just give her all the cuddles. Mm-hmm. She's also Much bapping cattle. you, telling you to never leave her alone for that long again. Or else. <laughs> She's just going bap, 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 bap. <laughs> yeah, she's just bapping you, saying, don't go away that long ever again. So, you got her back? Yeah, Jadul has her. Oh, that's good to hear. So, she'll probably be in there for, what, a few days? Probably. Ah, okay. I... I'm sorry if I caused any trouble for everyone. I do it again to make sure I get you back. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, so, what what exactly do you all do you do it in all as you are, as you're kind of going about the next few days? Uh, recovering, cuddling, fixing up my automatics. I'm taking some very much overdue R and R. Of course. So, uh, you over I the. Assume it, oh. I assume it takes a while for us to get over to the orbital ring. Oh yeah, it takes you about a uh, day's worth of travel. Uh, actually, a day or two's worth of travel to head out to the orbital uh, met a shipyard. And what do you when it finally reaches there? The place is, honestly, it is huge, and you are incredibly impressed. It is honestly huge, and you're on, you're quite a bit impressed with the fact that 
the fact that this ha that this was in the side of a fucking moon. Wait, question. Yeah. Was there ever a point in this campaign on Pandora where we could have discovered that without needing to go in the vault? Uh, the whole the whole shipyard. Yes, actually. Uh, if if Lyrell didn't go down, you guys would have discovered the keys and have, and have activated the vaults normally. The meta vault and the vaults are two completely different things. Mm. Wait, did we um? Did we still did 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 we do the vaults? You guys basically, you guys opened the vault and it activated the shipyard. That specific vault that you guys grabbed the key for, were able to put the key together for, may basically activate the vault. The vault activated. To, there was supposed to be normally a boss that would appear. Instead, it got Thanks. instead of a boss exiting the the vault entrance, you guys, uh, you guys uh, walked into a meta vault. Because yes, <sighs> the, because of how I ruled everything. Fucking Jericho clutched it, not gonna lie. <laughs> but the stupidly lucky rolls. <laughs> oh, damn. Did. Okay, let's go. Continue. <clears throat> so, the party... So, uh... So, Jericho, yeah, you spend the next the next day or two uh, getting yourself fixed up. Lots of cuddles. Both Nikki and Iris are clinging to your side, quite literally. And when you reach the shipyard, it is, honestly, it is bigger than any shipyard you've ever seen in Union. And that's saying something. He, you honestly don't know if there's some... Lim if there's some fucking weird spatial distortion shit going on or what, but it's honestly impressive just how big this place is. Uh, is there anything specific you want to do on the ship or on the plat or on the uh, shipyard? Oh, no. So it's been a few days? It's been a few days. I'm going to my ship. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, Jericho, you will... So, Jericho, you uh, move forward and head towards... So, Jericho, you exit uh, the Starship Velociraptor, Jadul wishing you a very, a very nice day. In her, mm -hmm. her, in her normal voice, not the strangely murderous solid tone voice that she was using earlier you can tell that there's a difference it's just most people can't uh and so as you are the fuck god damn it cardi <laughs> what the fuck these oh, this shit during session? It, it, it took you a minute to realize it. No, no, I just saw that I got a message from you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so you head over to the to your own Starship Velociraptor, and you mm -hmm. see that there is. You see, uh, so you head over. It takes about it. It's it literally it, from the outside. It looks like it's just in the next docking bay, the next like a bay, but it takes you literally like four hours to walk over there. Jesus, the the rem are, you do see a few rem who are working on parts of it, saying that oh yeah, the internal trams kind of down right now. We're trying to get it back up and running. They do say that this place is old. It's a miracle that a lot of it is still working. 
And so you 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 take that four hour walk, enjoying the sights of this place as it's slowly being brought back to full capabilities. With with uh as you reach the the air the docking area, the door will open with a dramatic flush. Uh, as you will see uh, quite a few, you'll actually see quite a few Rem all wearing their Power Ranger suits. Oh, well, holding what looks like uh, standard bears and quite and a few playing uh, instrument or three. As uh, there is a, as, it's, as it looks like, there is a ceremony to transferring this ship to you. Uh huh. Uh, you walk down with. Apologies, my phone just decided to turn on. That was fucking weird. <clears throat> so you so you walk down as the music is playing and slowly reaching higher and higher pitches until it reaches its final crescendo when you walk in front of a Rem wearing a dark wearing a very lightish light pink suit. Mm-hmm. Like this this is like a very, very light pink, nearing like, nearing like just a little bit of color in white. As she, as uh, she will look up, look up, then up, then up at you, and be, and will say, uh, "Jericho." Uh, wait, I'm gonna go double check your full name. Jericho Hellstrom. Jericho Hellstrom. You are the you are to be the the proud the first proud non rem owner of the Starship Velociraptor Dreadnought class warship. This is a immense honor for anyone, especially one who is, as we understand, a quite important individual that a Lancer is. Uh-huh. But there is a matter that must be dealt with. Due to lack of knowledge of how to properly do this, uh, we understand that Union is a society without money, as strange as that is. There is the issue of how kind of. exactly you're paying for this. I already paid for it. You you put in your you put in for the back order. Yes. I paid up front. No, that was the no. You no. You you ordered. You put it on the back order. You would and you have it be arranged to be paid for when you arrived. Um, it was specified in the contract. Not fine, fine, fine. No, I do have. <coughs> that is to say, Hellfire has a substantial substantial currency in this sector. Of course. Well, Union itself does not really operate on a monetary currency basis being here in HUS space we have adapted to uh, local custom of course so so of course uh, then the then the proper money shall be immediately transferred from the Hellfire Industries accounts uh, from my personal account oh your personal account of course yeah. Um, she will just nod as she types a few things onto the data pad that she is holding before she will hold it up. Please input the information here, sign here, sign here, and a initials here. Mm-hmm. As, as she's like pointing out throughout the contract before she will then before she will then take out a piece before she will take out a piece of paper and blood initial here. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Sorry, that's just tradition due to the royal stuff. I apologize uh, because that seems quite weird. No, that's fine. Jericho just reaches over to him, takes out a pen, pricks himself on an organic part, and uses that to sign. Okay, okay. That's good. That's good. And that is good. Right. Notably, the uh, the blood kind of immediately blackens and scabs over on the page. 
I I'm used to this staying red for at least another for at least another day. Nanobots, they kinda immediately Oh get you're work one of on those injuries. People. So yeah, no, the, 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 I do bleed red for my organic parts, but the nanites kinda immediately address the trauma, so it kinda signs in black. Okay, well that though no, that keeps me from well, that keeps me from needing to keep this out for a week or two to make sure the blood is properly dried. <clears throat> right. Okay. So, that is all. All those matters are are squared away. Uh, all right. Confirmation of uh, confirmation of purchase. As she will. As a little, as one, as a little drone will appear behind her, and print out a receipt that she will then immediately hand to you. Uh -huh. uh, confirmation of purchase and confirmation that your that the money has been drawn from your accounts. I uh -huh. do hope that your accounts will be okay after this. Oh, they will. Yes. Well, Hell, if you haven't noticed on the stock market, Hellfire has been. Moderately dominating recently. Or... Well, it's actually been dominating the not quite... too distant past. Well, actually, in recent years, it's actually been dominating quite well. Hmm. See? No problems. Yes. Um. Alright, so that's all taken care of regarding, regarding payment and also uh, transfer of ownership. Ah, uh, yes. <clears throat> or the power invested in me by the Queen... I now pronounce you the proud owner of the start of the starship Tyrannosaurus, as this is the name uh, that you have decided to christen it. Uh, she's a she's asking if that's how you want to christen it. Yes, the warship Tyrannosaur. Of course, the warship Tyrannosaur is now your property, and she hands over a key fob. Oh, thank you very much. May it serve you well, and may you be able to do do much good with it. As I am told, you lancers are people who want to do good. At least most that, of that's us what you are. Say. At least that's what most you say. Most of us are. We just have very a lot of us. There's quite a few of us that have very interesting ways of going about it. Yes, um, Miss. I think Miss Lyrell has sent quite a few reports regarding that. <clears throat> I, I do apologize. Um, no, I, it's I, fine. It, the reports about Union have been conflicting at best. Unflattering. Y yes. <sighs> we do apologize if that is the case. No, it's, it's fine. There are those that cling to doing things the way they're done in Union space, and then there are those of us that are adapting to the space we're in. Of course. For those of us that don't adapt have definitely tried some very heavy-handed uh, tactics. Of course. So, with that all settled, I believe that you should... Uh, with that all settled, everything should be well-suited. I do hope that you have a crew prepared for this. Kind of. This is probably going to stay in dock for a while as I make the uh, modifications and retrofitting that to bring it up to my desires. Oh, of course. We always, we always encourage personal customization with any products. Well, no matter what, we hope that you will be able to upgrade it to your, to your specifications. I probably will. Although and... Ethan might hate that I have to salvage a couple of ships for it. Well, um, they will just kind of look to you and kind of look out the kind of, kind of, a uh, hard light barrier that's separating the dock from space. There is quite a few ships out there. There is. Uh... What is specifically, I need some Union-specific parts. Oh, well... I'm sure you can probably. And, uh, I'm hoping you can get your hands on that. The disaster well, at the MSC can. has probably put that back quite a bit. 
I can probably print most of what I need, but there are some parts that are a little bit beyond my fabrication capacity. So I may need to take those from an existing ship in the Union fleet, if Eden will give it to me. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, if you ever require the Brem services, please do inform us. I will let you know. As with that, the the congregation of Rem will pack up all their equipment and will head out as you are now standing before your own starship. Alright then. I suppose first things first, habitation. Wash is going to need somewhere to stay. <laughs> Ah, yes. Already working on that little issue. Uh, so, the, so the, so you all are, so, Jericho, you immediately start with bringing all the systems online. Making sure that the ship, making sure the life support and all those little, uh, things are done. Uh, and I will say that roughly another week passes as you're getting everything working, figuring out a few things, reading the user's manual. Uh -huh. Like, re reading the user's manual is always something important to do with starships, of course. Uh -huh. And roughly a week passes as you will get, you'll receive a message over Union Subset Space Bands. Mm hmm <clears throat> Attention Lancers. Union fleet approaching Pandora system. Mm-hmm. They're coming to me, it seems. <laughs> and what do you do as you receive that message? I think Jericho is going to open a line to Eden. Uh, you send out a message to open a line, and Eden does respond. Uh, Jericho! Oh! Jericho, I was not expecting to receive a message from you so soon. Well, we made it out of the meta vault. Uh, you're coming to Pandora? Yes. Has something happened with the bunk gate? Or has, has something happened with the fleet? N nothing has happened with the fleet. In fact, its numbers have actually grown have actually grown since you have la since you were last on board. We are oh, coming due good. to the standing issue with Librel missing. Because of that, uh, Legion has kept the Blinkgate in deadlock and transportation matters, and I, I just need to figure out what's going on. You can tell Legion that we have gotten Lyrael back. Dude can confirm as much yourself. Yes, but he is wanting both visual and, vi and verbal authentication. Oh... Uh... He might have to wait for that a little bit. She is that is needing to rest. I suppose that is understandable. Uh, I will be receiving yes. your report in person this time. Very well. We also picked up a robot guy. His name is Bosch. I, I see. I will be looking forward to meeting him then. I'm looking forward to meeting also, this Also, you're... When, when you get here, you're going to need to send a shuttle down to pick up Benny. And also okay. summarily charge him for desertion. Um... Well, interesting thing regarding that. Um... I'm going to be sending a shuttle out as soon as we make... As, as soon as we make, uh... 
uh, as soon as we make it to the system. Uh, you will mm -hmm. have quite the surprise waiting for you then. Oh? Uh, you will see when you arrive. As uh, she will eventually uh, cut out the line. All right. So, about another two hours passes before she will, before a shuttle will arrive, before the fleet slowly makes its way in ship by ship. Due to the lack of Heaven's Gate, it's very, it's a very interesting thing seeing uh, group after group of ships blink in, or not blink in, but uh, transfer over from near FTL to normal sublight speeds in small groups instead of the one big jump that you're used to seeing. As event as after a bit longer, a shuttle uh, jumps a uh, tab hops over with the party with with a uh you with a union pilot uh just kind of poking his head out and going, uh you Mr. Jericho. Um. All right. Uh, Miss Eden wanted me to to wanted you to come over. I'm here to pick you up. All right. And uh, the new guy, he just kind of, he kind of just looks at looks at a looks at his phone. Uh, boshed. Uh. Uh. uh whoever that is. Mm -hmm. Yup. Yeah. Oh, that's this guy. Alright. So, he will take, so he will pull, have you guys both strap in, get into the shuttle, uh, strap in after you get into the shuttle, and you guys will be carried out towards the current Union flagship, which is... Uh, I got that. I know I wrote this down. One moment. Double checking notes. Uh, the glorious adventure. The Glorious Adventure? Yes, that is the name of the current Union flagship. Damn. Uh, that's a pretty good... Uh, that, 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 not gonna lie, that's pretty good. Also, I should see if I can change the name of my ship in Hell Divers to Sons of the Patriot. <laughs> Sons of the Patriot? Yeah. God damn it, Senator Armstrong. Um, uh, Metal Gear. Ah, uh, yes. The Unenlightened Masses. <laughs> yes, no, because I was just like, wait a minute. So then there were the Patriots, and then there were the, you know, this like few that you know, kind of toppled them. So we had the Sons of the Patriots. Like, Senator Armstrong declaring that everyone is one now. It's just. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's a mad lad, but no, it's like, it's like having a ship that is the Sons of the Patriots. <laughs> the fuck did I find? Sorry, I'm just making sure I had, making sure that my notes are correct for last week. I apologize. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my fucking god, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? What the fuck did you find, on? No, you're not seeing this. Alright, alright. <clears throat> I 
oh, you're one of those people. Person in charge of signing a ownership transfer spaceship. <laughs> God damn it, doggo. <clears throat> so, Boshed and Jericho, you two are transferred over to the to the Union flagship. Uh, the Glorious Adventure. As mm-hmm. and you would act and you would head over. And once you make once you land, I imagine you immediately head over for the bridge. Yep. So you head immediately towards the bridge, and the first thing you see as you walk in is well, you see Eden, but she has a subaldern riding on her shoulders. Hmm. As she is as she's typing a few things and walking around. Before she will take notice and turn around, as you will see one moment. As you will see, as you will see that the subaltern is not a normal looking one. Uh, hun, would you like to post and the art? who is this? Let me find it. Oh, wait, hold on, I found the artwork. There it is. Oh, wait, you want to post it? Oh, sure. Go ahead, post it in art. Yeet. As you look at art, you'll see this writing upon Eden's shoulders. Oh. And and she'll turn around and will say, Oh, Jericho, you're here. I... I apologize. I was I did not sense you on board. And how big is this bunny? Uh <laughs> about the size of Benny? About the size of Benny. Okay, so uh, Jericho's just gonna look at him and say, You little shit. I can explain everything. Please I think do. I feel like you should go talk with Eden a bit before I do anything, unless you want to um, um, understand everything now. Benny, you overheard the I call that he it. made. You might as well explain. Indeed. Do you want a long, a long uh, explanation or short one? Give us the short one first. So, me activating the 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 angry uh, fucking NHP, whatever it's called, the segment. Fuck segment. I kind of still can't remember that part. I don't know what mm-hmm. happens, but I was as Eden explained it somewhere in blink space of some sort, or I don't know. So, you activated your NHP and got ripped out of a fucking meta vault. Yeah, into blink space. My life support was barely working, but I did Thanks. see, I did see my Zheng there getting pulled in into some sort of fucking moon. So when we get all of this done, do you mind helping me going to that moon so I can kill the Zheng? Moon. Yeah. Are you saying Ra took your fucking mech? Who? Ra. Ra. The metaphysical entity, also known as Modest One, who is the reason that that NHPs exist <laughs> and is the is the entity that put in po- that imposed the first contact accords. And the the, the fucking bitch ass that stole Heaven's Gate. And Beckner. And two rings of the MSC. And uh, that too. and a few other things. He he's stolen a lot over the years. Yes, he I has. Can't, I can't I can't remember much of. It. I don't know if if I heard anything or not. It was kind of hard not being able to breathe. Um, then 
I'd rather not go into private details, but I think my soul is a bit different now. If you've met Ra, probably. For context. Kind of like, like, um, I'm s kinda dead. In a sense. What do you mean souls like hell? I I I don't I don't know about Lyrell's. It, it, wait, is she alive? Yeah, I... She's alive. Oh, but she also technically thank... died. I... All right. We did manage to get her back. All right, that that's good. That is... All right, all right. If you if you if you were if you if you were kidnapped, that 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 means I cannot officially charge you with desertion. However, it was bloody inconvenient. It, 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 I'm, I'm, I, I, I apologize with all of my heart, or what's left of it, <laughs> somewhere in in blink space. All right, all right. About well, me pressing that button. I thought, I thought it was just an imagination of my Jing. No, it was the actual thing in the meta vault for some reason. That is kind of how NHPs work. Yes. No. Okay. You are. I can see that you did not willfully abandon your your team. All right. No, no. I can actually think that... straight for once. It's so fucking relaxing. Huh. Uh, for Finally. context of how he was able to return, remember so the... So his link with his mech has been severed, huh? Yes, completely. I have mm. done every test imaginable to te to see, and... His connection with the segment has been completely severed. Well, we're gonna need to get him a new mech. Oh, we have really already done. gone through the preparations for that. Okay. Due to him having legally achieved true death, uh, yeah, we will. We have already gone through the process of essentially assigning him a new life. Mm-hmm. Not many people get that chance. No, not many. Wait, should I even be going by my fake initials? Fake initials? I thought you already know my name. Well, I mean, I do, but I always thought that you just changed your name to Benny. No. It... That's a different <laughs> reason. You should, you should see Ida just pull off, just pull Benny off her shoulders and like hold her up in front of her. Wait, you but okay. I'm going to have to get that cleared up later. For now, essentially, we have been doing everything in my power to ensure that a new life can be basically assigned. All right. Is, is there anything else that you wish to say? Uh, is there anything else that's bothering you, Jericho? No. That being said, we're going to have some logistics to sort out, as my ship has arrived at long last. Yes, I noticed that. I noticed that there was a second Starship Velociraptor. That being said, it's going to take some work to bring it up to my standards, let alone Union's. Ooh, speaking of logistics, uh, Jericho, are you free? Mm. After this? Uh, you didn't, didn't you say there was some sort of Omni thing? Omni thing? Uh, um, the, the, the... Oh, the Omni Fabricator? Yeah, I, th I think that's it. He did say something uh... about it's, uh, an amount, right? Uh, you mean Jericho's printer? No, no, I'm trying. Let me, let me. Let me yeah, or, yeah, uh, you're, you're... Are we talking about, or are we talking about the orb that fucking Vecna found that got eaten by Ra? No, uh, PB, uh, you, you know the Omni Mount thing that you were talking about? Oh, Omni Mount. Yeah. Oh, Omni Mount technology. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You don't just kind of look up for a moment before saying, Oh, the Omni Mount tech that uh, you all gathered. Omni Mount? Yes, it was in the log sent by Lyrell. 
the new mech that uh, the mech that uh, Veta had claimed for her own, the Meliodas. Oh, that. Yes, it had right. unique mount technology that was that well, well would actually prove very useful. Yeah, yes, that thing. Was. Um, do you mind help? Do you mind attaching it, it, that to my mech if it's possible? I do believe we can retrofit it with enough time. Great. Well, we'll be staying in the I'm system until... This is a rather intricate piece of work. Wait, where are my boys? Uh... Probably still on Pandora if we... no one's picked them up. Hey, Dan. Uh, I will get to that, hun. Just give me a moment. <sighs> A lot to take care of. Hmm. <laughs> so, uh, is there any other issues that need to be resolved? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Um, confirmation of the status of Lyrell's Metavolt? Closed. Closed, okay. That is... Rare to happen, as you as you very much know. Well, at least from what we can tell, it was so it ended up becoming unstable enough to collapse. Ah, okay. Yeah, and this, this, like for an NHP, it would normally stabilize, but I mean, this level is not an HP. I don't really know what to expect in this matter. Hmm. I'll have to look into the matter when she is awakened. Um. Mm -hmm. The entity known as Millie. Status she regarding safe, them. I she is safe, she is secure, she is currently with Lyrell, I believe. Very good. I'll need to talk with them when Lyrell is awake. I imagine that Millie would not want to leave her side. Most likely, yes. And... Well, she's just going to, like, look out the window before pointing to the giant-ass orbital shipyard. What the fuck? I'm agreeing with Benny's word choice here. That was there when we came out of the Meta Vault. Yummers. Uh, Jericho, actually. Uh, uh, can you roll me a grit check as, as you see her point? Oh, as I was saying here specifically. We're 16. Alright. You actually see on Eden, you actually see that Eden has a ring on. That's a new ring. Hmm? Oh, uh, thank you. It's recently been received. As, uh, she just looks as uh, she just looks over to you um th thank you though it's actually a very nice one i wasn't really expecting to be given it <clears throat> so as i was saying in regards to the orbital shipyard i'm seeing mm -hmm. can you give me any details Possibly triggered when we opened the planetary vault. Right, I do remember Lyrell's. I do remember from Lyrell's uh, messages that the planet did bear vaults, not the kind that we are used to. Hmm. All right. So if that is indeed true, then that is entirely Yavin. Jericho? Mm -hmm. uh, my, uh, uh, Eden was asking if the vault was, in, was a Yavin thing. And the shipyard. We think so. Alright, so that is yet another given artifact on display. 
That is... I mean, ho- there, were, there are rather, rather a few even vaults seem to be scattered over the planet. I see. Uh... I mean, with the amount of Yavin relics on the planet, there it's no wonder there's an instant research institute on this. Mm. I, w- I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of the Yavin's capital or re- scientifically focused planets. I would yeah, not I be surprised should... as well. We should put more... But they do have effort. a facility down there for making new Yavin AI. What are you trying to say, Benny? Sorry? Uh, no, just Be- Benny's just murmuring to himself. Oh. Okay. Uh, an entire thing for making new Yavin AI. Mm-hmm. I... Yeah, they had me make- go through the process of making one. Oh, yeah! Je- Jericho's a father. Oh. I, I see. You-, you can just see Jericho kind of cringe. It's just like, Benny, don't... Why does it sound so weird when you say it? <laughs> well, to be fair, I wasn't be- planning on becoming a wife, but yeah. So Wait. Things just pop. Oh, I am. Who? <laughs> she just. Not sorry pa- about that. <laughs> she just pauses for a moment. Uh, pardon? You just said you didn't figure on becoming a wife. Who? And do I need to deck them one? <laughs> I, um, no, you you don't. Um, <laughs> I was not meant to say that out loud. Well, t- 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 too late now, you said it. Spill the beans. She just glances to the Banui she's holding. I can explain. You piece of shit. I was not expecting it when it happened. Uh, I wasn't expecting to become a father either, so I suppose we're both in the same boat. Indeed. Um, I wasn't expecting it to go through. Yes, there was a wedding crasher. Actually, several. Mostly the NHP specialists. I see. Oh, God. Fucking NHP experts. We can't have anything fun with them around. Can I can I go harass them, Eden? Yeah, go harass them, hun. I actively Benny. encourage this. As she just like puts down Benny and lets him go run off. Just Benny fucking bolts it. <laughs> she will then immediately then she'll look to Jericho. You're taking this surprisingly well. I mean you're your own person, you're allowed to make your own decisions. Yes, given your less than stellar opinion of him, though. I. <sighs> he was nice. Very kind. Reminded me of some of the past ones. <clears throat> I do apologize. So, we have so we have a planet full of human tech that we are going to be building a blink gate around its sun. Mm-hmm. We have several human vaults, and we also have quite a few other things native, to worry about here. A native populace that wants to have their lives back, and they can have them. Honestly, you, honestly, they can live their lives how they wish. They've earned it. Well, they have. Any and any union specialist that says otherwise, I will fight. Agreed. These people have fought and bled for their own liberation. They deserve it. For my own awareness, they have joined willingly the union. Yes. That is good. Said, if any if any union specialists do decide to uh, protest, they can deal with Hellfire. Of course. <sighs> so. 
Oh, Jericho just reminds us, like, oh, speaking of which, he just quickly brings out his tech arm, swipes up a holographic display, and just checks in on what the production status has been, seeing as he's been away for a few months. Uh, yeah, you've been, around, been away for seven months. Well, that means we've definitely got a good army of subaltons. Uh, so you look over the production statuses and cues and everything, and, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, wow, the production numbers, they go burr. Uh, the future planning worked. As there is a large amount of stuff that the subalterns have, re that the uh, facilities have been reporting as, uh, for quota. Mm -hmm. And that the and that several batches of the arms and armor uh, that were promised to the HUS have been created, sent, and are currently on the planet. Good, good. From the brink of destruction, back to business. Uh, good. With, with there actually being some uh, some requests from not. From uh, not uh, the HUS's military department, but a few other groups, uh, uh, m mostly just uh, the mess, uh, mostly just domestic defense forces and such. Jericho will. The, the subalters have just basically the production queues have just been creating stuff, storing it, getting mm -hmm. ready to for the orders of which orders to take. Prepping inventory, indeed. Jericho will vet these new customers at some point. Yes. And so, uh... And so, Ethan will actually kind of look over for a moment before before looking at your, uh, your, uh... Right arm? Or left arm, sorry. Right arm. Right, right, right arm. I apologize. I keep forgetting what arm is supposed to be. Oh yeah, no, that's fair. And she just, she just stares at it before saying, "Where did you get that?" I met a lady. It gives off the same energy as the time I had to save your life. Yes, I met that lady. Suddenly, she's in front of you, grabbing grabbing you by under the shoulders. Like she's like holding you up by your armpits. She's she's a master, master forge smith, among other things. I, you went to her. There, it's a her. I kind of. They're real. Yes, it's a her. Yes, it's a her. Yes, they're real. They're extra dimensional or extra planar. I swear this expedition has brought in more and more questions that the universe will never answer. They, 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 live, they, live, in, they live in a different... different... universe. I... see. It, okay, so... One you're... where magic is a lot more dense than here. Ma magic? Yes. Honestly, it shouldn't be... Honestly, why does that not surprise me? I mean... So these kinds of theories have been floating around for ages. I know, and there has been... I mean, Union has always spouted that there is forces that we can never truly understand at the moment, due to lack mm -hmm. of understanding. So, magic being real, I shouldn't be too surprised. With the shit that has I mean... happened, I feel like magic exists at this point. <laughs> Just, Just Benny a... reappearing. Yeah, I, I, I did, I did uh, point out that he came, he came back with coffee spilled on his visor. <laughs> you will just like immediately just rub that off. Okay, you need to be careful with that visor. It's difficult to replace. You tell that to the the handlers. Oh my god, too pissy and threw a coffee cup at me. <sighs> <laughs> did it at least yes, kick one. No. Oh. I, I, I kick over some of their desks. Ah, very good. As you're saying, I, I, Jericho. I don't. I, I didn't want to kick them because I'm still trying to get used to these legs. Yes, no, they're 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 cold, but they're not exactly 
terrible. I see. And they gave you a new arm. One that is... Yeah, they... It is, was quite a trade. It's giving off the energy of them and the veil. Oh, yeah. I... So one of the things before Lyrell got locked up in her meta vault, I kind of had to hold the transmitter together and took in an inordinate amount of veil energy. Jericho, we barely understand how that stuff is. You could have yep, been killed. And... I very much could have. Yeah. Clearly you're not, but this, I mean, yes, your components have been would have been exposed to veil energy, but they shouldn't have caused such a drastic change. Uh, yeah, apparently uh, I've been adopted. Adopted? Adopted? When an entity in the veil has decided they like me. An, an, entity, an entity. Yes, I call her Valerie. Would you like me to call her? I. You can call her. I. Why are you confused about this, Eden? I can literally call. Uh, okay. Lindy as well. Thing is, that is a spirit that is, has documentation throughout much of Cradle's history. This is something completely unknown. This is an exp extra dimensional entity. True. You just have well, a spirit of cannibalism. For a more desperate I time. I, I, am, I am I am past that, I think. I mean, you don't need to eat anymore. Yeah, but you still gave me a mouth now, didn't you? Well I had to. It's all it's the best way to make sure you don't accidentally reject your body. Oh, well, makes sense. Seriously, body disconnect is an actual issue. Uh, still an entity. Yeah. Okay, I, I've, I, I've ex I think I've experienced the most serious thing, but yeah. Anyways, that's just... <clears throat> so, yes, if you can call this Valerie, I would appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Erica just holds up his arm. So you hold up your arm and call forth, asking Valerie to come to come meet. <laughs> Basically, asking Valerie to come meet Mom. <laughs> Technically, <laughs> wait, Eden. Since I met this raw, and you said he's the creator of NHP, does that mean that I can call your dad? I. That is correct. Yes, you've met my dad. Can I call him? No. no? Rob doesn't answer to anyone. He doesn't even return his own children's calls. Should I still try? I don't think you That's should. Sad. I'd rather not have a Deimos event happen. He, okay, next... Okay, when we're done with this, you're gonna have to explain to me this whole Raw thing. Yeah, we, we will. <clears throat> Alright, so... The hell do he, does he not know about Raw? The Lappin were disconnected from the rest of Union for quite a long time. They've only they were only reintegrated roughly a hundred years when the expeditions set out. Mm -hmm. A lot of reintegration work was still being done, and it was slow going due to the Lappin not wishing to change a lot of their ways. I mean, can't blame them. Kept us alive for hundreds of years on that fucking godforsaken planet. Yeah, I feel like I can say that since I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, there are no gods. I mean, guess there is. We can. Rob doesn't count. We can discuss theological yeah. things later. Oh, my religion has a god. Yeah, There's a reason so why we have souls. Christianity. What's Christianity? It's an old religion from a crate from ancient cradle. It still technically mm -hmm. exists. 
Actually, no, it still does it's... exist. No, it got merged. Oh, right, it got merged with Buddhism. Mm -hmm. I mean, true, but mine kind of has proof of it existing based on the soul thing we have. It, I can confirm the, the thing about souls. Um... <clears throat> I mean, we've known uh, souls exist, but souls doesn't prove that there's a god. Ours are di Everybody has a soul, but ours are different. I'm still trying to figure that out. Nobody yeah. explained that to me while well, I was just floating around. Now, to be fair, I do technically have half your soul. Yeah, you always had half of my soul, but my soul, like, after I died, remember, it, it, it did shit. Now, ascendant? Maybe. Because of the religion whole thing? Maybe. I'm not entirely sure myself. I did give you that history book. I'm still tra I'm still trying to translate that. The translation software regarding our species language is woefully incomplete. Oh uh, yeah, true. Uh -huh. Anyways, okay, Jericho, bring forth with Valerie was doing so yeah. so so you bring up your arm once more and you activate it uh you activate it with the with uh a with a with a with a surge of veil energy roaring through through you and a it takes a few moments before uh, you would before Val before a tear would open with Valerie's claws digging into it and pulling herself free and looking around. Is something the matter, Jericho? Yeah, here, meet Space Mom. Huh. You aren't you aren't shitting. I... You've seen her before, Benny. I don't recall anything. His memory regarding the last just kind of thinks for a moment. <laughs> you, you, is you, just, you you just you just uh, see a loading screen on a visor trying to remember. Uh Jericho, if you see murder drones, it's basically how their how their faces look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got ya. <laughs> his his memory of the last well roughly year ish is Vague. Most likely damage right. due, done due to the bond with the segment. Yeah. Do we still do we have any further idea what's actually what was actually going on the fuck there? Judging by information I've been slowly gathering, somewhat. Um. PB, is there any? Can I roll to see, or like know if anything changed with it? Sure. While I was there. Sure, go ahead. Uh, did I get any accuracy? Uh, anything? sure. Yeah, you'll get a thing of accuracy. A thing of accuracy. Oh, would investigate work or grit check? Uh, investigate. Oh, yeah, no, you, 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 you don't know exactly what's going on. You, you, you have an idea, a vague idea, but you're not entirely sure. The Banui brain is still, is still buffering. I mean, <laughs> something has to have happened to it if it got the intention of a moon. Ra, and honestly, the Zhang has already, it's always been on Ra's shit list. I should have gotten a warning before I picked that next, to be honest. Honestly, most of the time it's not an issue. It's just usually very good pilots of it are the issue. But she turned out to be one. It also might have been due to the weird thing happening with, with you and the segment. Okay, okay. Uh, let, let, let's not do our own conversation right now. Eden, you kind of have a visitor over here. Right, right. <clears throat> I apologize. Uh, Valerie, was it? Yes. You are... Valerie just looks to you. Space Mom? 
Is, is just, Valerie just likes to see Jericho before questioningly saying that? Uh, she's the Lancer commander. Oh, I see. It, Space Mom is fine. <laughs> but she kind of is. It is entirely fine to call me that. I do not mind. It's... At the title, I'm not exactly used to. I feel like while. Eden is a good name to call her. Yes, just call me Eden. Right, Eden. You are the Lancer Commander, as he said. What? So, you're the one who is in charge of him. Eh, essentially? I suppose, well, in charge isn't exactly the best way to say it, but... I am his commanding officer. Right. Well, he is now failed touched. Failed touched. Yes. It is exceedingly rare to see nowadays. I see. Well, we can discuss the implications of being veil touched later. Um, Jericho. Mm -hmm. So this entity is a friend, correct? They are friendly. Yes. Okay. If they are a friendly being and one that is much the same as Iris and Nikki. Ah, another girlfriend. I've read the reports. Mm-hmm. I have read the reports, and yes, I... As much as I find it strange, I'm not going to judge. Is there one quick thing I can do? Uh, sure. Uh, can Benny go up to Jericho? Mm-hmm. Sure. Just look up to him. Can I pick you up for like a second? How tall is Benny in this body? Five for five. He's so, shorter so than height. I am. <laughs> like you're okay. He, okay, D don't misunderstand the lifting weight of these thunder thighs I've gotten. He is in a subaltern. Hell, mm -hmm. I. Uh... <laughs> Oh boy, um, Twink Subaltern. Yes, thank to be you. fair, um, I did what you you would usually do and just. To be fair, I did what you what you claimed to do and just listen to the soul. They uh, wanted something I that mean, was close fair. to the original body, just, so I just, did that. Just, no, no, that's fair. That's fair. Just as he's talking, like just Benny's gonna pick him up and give him a big, big hug. Eh. So what's this for? Hug. Oh, um. You know, since I landed on a planet, I kind of wasn't myself at all. Yeah. I mean, I didn't really have enough of a baseline read of you to tell you what yourself was. Yeah, I kind of couldn't do it because yeah. I was still trying to get used to. But now I'm used to everything. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to give you a hug as an apology. Yes. Congra All right. Cor congratulations, Jericho. You were actually meeting the Benny that I had trained. So this this is this is actual Benny, not not murder hobo Benny. Yep. Can this is. Don't, don't call me that, please. This is the Lapin that I had you... trained back when he had first left his own world. Uh, well, you definitely seem more stable now. Mm-hmm. Uh, hopefully. <sighs> no, hopefully. Well, from now on, I'll not be a burden to it. I'll still kill like any Lapin would. But I won't cause you a migraine. I hope not. 
اوكي بني جست سلاس ام اب ان ذا اير هي فورغوت هي از كاريينغ هيم سو از يو اول ار ديسكاسينغ ايدن اند فاليري ديسكاسينغ وات اكزاكتلي فيل تاتشد مينز اند Uh, so, sorry. <clears throat> but I, I'm getting messaged by someone for some reason. Mm-hmm. So, Ooh, who's this? Oh, it's Leia. Uh, hello. So, as you guys are, as everyone is talking, there's a sudden message on all, on all bands from Jadul. Attention, attention, the successor is awakening. All right, well, come on. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a piggyback ride. <laughs> so everyone immediately jumps, immediately starts running, Valerie included, who is more just floating. I'm just, mm, I'm just carrying Jericho. And just on my back. And you all, and everyone immediately piles into a shuttle, heads over to the Starship Velociraptor, and directly towards the Med Bay. With, with you all walking in, with you all running in as the pod, as the uh, pod full of uh, Bapta will slowly open and reveal Lyrell. She's alive. How's she looking though? Uh, yeah, floating in the and 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 uh, just call it Bapta. Floating in the fluid of the back tank is I well. She looks thinner than usual, but kind of otherwise it. all right. We need to get her cat food stats. All, all seven of her tails are kind of curled up around her a bit. She's in some sort of like suit to help keep her modest. It's it. it You, you, like when it, like you guys have watched Star Wars, you know, mm -hmm. they you usually have something on them to like, keep them modest as they're healing. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, thank you for actually doing that. Yeah, no, Jadul would not have her be sitting in there naked. And so as the tank it, and slowly you guys watch as the, as, Jadul. As uh, Jadul's mecha frame would walk in, and kind of just like stand near the tank as Lyrell, as the tank slowly starts to drain, and Lyrell, you start to gain consciousness. Just everybody's huddled all all, all around. Yes. <laughs> Lyrell slowly opens her mouth. Coughs up a little as she spits out. Eh, LCL. I do. Mm. I do apologize, Miss Lyrell. It is all that we had on hand. Well, have you put it on first, though? Eh. Uh. See, then I told you they would make it. Lyrell slowly blinks, looks around. What? Where? You're on your ship. Immediately, Eden would just hug Lyrell. Yeah. No. Can, we, can we do a group hug? <laughs> was that yeah noise for Lyrell just disappearing? That, no, that was just kind of an an, an ambient yeah noise. As as like, well, you just you just feel Eden just give you a very 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 much feeling much needed hug, as then just immediately everyone else in the room just starts joining in on the group hug. That's a little too much hug, and Lai will goes to leap away and just kind of slips on a foot face planting. Miss Lai you have yeah. just exited. 
You have just exited healing. It is not advised that you perform any standard ram activities for at least another few days. Oh, for yeah, are you old. <sighs> Unfortunately, yeah. the voice of medical authority <laughs> overrules your overrule. You need to recover. Uh, I do apologize, Miss Lyrell. What? We on Pandora? Mm, no, we were, well, we were on Pandora, then we were in your meta vault, and now we're here. M meta vault? Miss Lyrell, as you, as you hear Jadul's voice, but it's not from the standard from the comms or from the, uh, uh, from the speaker phones on the ceiling. No. Instead, you see a mechanized version of Jadul's hologram, Lyrell, just walk up and help you up. Oh. Did I build that already? No, Miss Lyrell. You have been gone. You are out for a while. You and the Lancer team have been missing for quite some time. I simply found the designs while I was upgrading the Starship Velociraptor. You were you were sleepy, Lyrell. Everything is fine. Wait, wait, sleeping? Uh, Metavolt? I don't remember. No, wait. No, you no, probably I, don't. No, I, I do, remember. I will slowly looks up, and her eyes just seem tired as she looks up at you, Jericho. I remember everything. Everything, everything? As the amber or CLC drips off her tails, you see that instead of the normal red hue, as they appeared in the back to, to tank, they are actually more of a purpled hue. I, yes. Uh-huh. Everything. Everything is fine now. No, it isn't, Benny. That being said, we've got Benny back. Like, not Mur the Hobo Benny, actual Benny Benny. As yeah. Jericho says that, there is you see a subaltern with bunny ears. Uh Everybody's alive. Uh, if you look in art, you'll see how it looks. I, I did see that. Behold, Robo Bonui. We have quite a bit to. Ninety percent of your biomass is in your thighs. <laughs> <laughs> that is how he requested the artwork. I I just had to say that. <laughs> he is the fanboy. He is he is he is the bunny twink. <laughs> bunny twink. Uh, just just Benny says, yeah, I'm I'm still dead. Uh, I'm just I think I'm just possessing this. Uh, again, I'm alive. it's a long story. So I will regarding... slowly open some mouth, then close it again. Then opens it once more, then close it again. Laughing souls are apparently kind of unique. Then opens it once more. Again, Lyra, we have... And turns around so she's not facing the Vanui. <laughs> hey, look, I'm so, so sorry for everything, alright? I wasn't myself down there. I, I didn't... I, I will... Did... I didn't mean to that... want to eat the uh, other rabbits. I, I'm i going to acknowledge that later. For the moment, there was... something important. And I will slowly looks up at Jericho. Mm. Lancer Command Jericho? Mm-hmm. Uh, mission debriefing? Eden just sighs as she walks up. Like, helps Lyrell up. I was just about to call for that. I suppose. As, uh, as Eden will carry Lyrell to one of the nearby beds and like, well, it like, like wriggle out of Eden's grip. No, no, you're you you're, you're still recovering. Squiggly cat. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we'll just, just do her best just to slowly transfer Lyrell into one of the hospital beds in the room. I invoke my boon that nothing can restrain me. <laughs> unfortunately, Eden. Unfortunately, Eden is an epic tier magical item and re is able to revoke that. I call tails. <laughs> you want to flip for this? You want to flip? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> All right, you call tails. Let's see where it lands. Heads. Pusses. <laughs> Eden is able to make sure the cat is in her arms before tucking her into the hospital bed. Eden is a master of juggling liquids. <laughs> I imagine Eden has to turn like into like a oh no, like, that's not so much of right of out of context. Oh no, <laughs> what were you saying? I hit it and I'm like, wait a minute. Uh oh, <laughs> not like that. I imagine I Eden had to turn into like a it had to make like a like a water bed or something out of nanobites to just prevent Lyrell from getting traction. <laughs> I, I, I was about to say Eden's a professional in keeping cats in air jail. <laughs> well, either way, we now have, but that now Lyrell is in a very comfy hospital bed and she just feels all the need to wiggle leave her body. Well, no, no, no. See that that that's not actually a thing. Well, she feels the less of an urge to just wiggle out. Except it's very comfy. Yes. Uh, hold on. We are going to need to pause session. I need to go take out the dog because my sister's the only one home and she can't juggle both her, both Kai and uh, the dog. Okay. Where there is there is a need for Bork. Got it. No worries. Yes. Here, yeah. Take like a we're taking like a five minute break. I apologize. All right. No worries. <laughs> Oh yeah, Slaya, since you weren't here at the start, um, explanation? Uh, Ra took the Zheng. But she reason. was just a troubled girl. <laughs> oh, no, no, the fucking, it just, it, it just, Benny explains that while everybody's moving, like, no. I will looks teary-eyed. She was just a girl. Uh, of course you'd have that reaction. I, I wouldn't say troubled from what I saw and experienced and felt. She kind of had every bad thing that I had and just took it. It's not her fault. No, it's not. It's my... Oh, I'm not... No, that would sign. That would sign. Sound a bit racist towards my race, but y you know, we kind of found out that uh, uh, what are they called? Sekmets don't go too well with my race. So I guess it's kind of my fault. I mean, it's not like you had any way annoying. Oh yeah, no. But hey, that at least that's that's one entity out of my mind, unwanted one. <sighs> but yes, no. So hopefully, Lara, that this means this means that going forward we have a much more wholesome Benny. Oof. Yippee! Uh, oh god. Jericho, uh, you watch know. as Lyra like gestures and Orby comes drifting over and and with the little laser display thing, Lyra weakly starts typing out Run Scan Reference Conform Current Dimension <laughs> Oh she she thinks she's streaming or something. You're you you you're probably you're properly awake, Lyrell. 
the seven months in a metal vault is, you know, quite a while. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I feel like we shouldn't explain anything else that happens, especially with the... Uh... Well, you know, until Lyra's fully awake. Yes, she's she's remembering. We don't want to pressure her too much. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, so about that Omni mounts, right? Uh, uh, Meliodas Omni mounts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I kind of have an idea of replace. Can you replace one of my flex mounts? On the mech with that? I mean, I do believe we can technically retrofit the mountings <laughs> on your mech. Like, there are core bonuses that let you add, like, auxiliary and flex mounts. Oh, no, no, no. I want to replace, like, uh, this flex mount with the Omni mount. <laughs> um, Eden kinda is not worried. Nor, I I couldn't understand her expression, but she kind of went overboard with my systems a bit, especially with this current mech I have. Uh huh. Well, two. Um, let's just say. Uh, you know the Caliban, right? You know, you know the uh, cannibal shotgun. The wait, the, the IPS Caliban. North, you mean IPS North Star Caliban? Walks like a truck, talks like a truck, hits like a truck. Yep. Yeah. Half size. Yeah. Uh, I kind of got, I kind of got that, and uh, Eden highly suggested that I stick with the uh, a Sh Smith Shimano Atlas or whatever it is. And with Smith Shimano or. Pretty esoteric. They're uh, they're very much quality over quantity. Yeah. Um. And I got an idea because I can't finally mm -hmm. use my brain. Uh, can can you replace one of my flex mounts with the uh, the cannibal shotgun? Like put the omni. You want so can... As okay. soon as you say cannibal shotgun, you actually see like well breathe a sigh of relief. Oh, this is home. Okay. Okay. Part what? No, 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 Ly no, no, right, Lyrell. It's just the name. I hate the name as well, but that's the name of the shotgun. I'm just okay, wanting it to that. mount it on my atlas. It okay, what the fuck happened while I was gone? The board has been she oh, we've, been... we've been <laughs> chatting, that's all. <laughs> okay. But yeah, where were we? Like, I just want to put that because me and Eden did a sparring match and she kind of went overboard with my agility to say the least. Like Eden, how many times did you try and hit me? Uh, quite a few. I think I lost track. Y yeah, like uh, you'll see. You'll see. I'm kind of worried about it as well to some extent. But yeah, no, I just want this on the mech. Because I feel like it would be nice. My PSN. Okay, so all I got was something about a shotgun. Now I'm. Oh, uh, uh, I'm trying to explain it in character on what Benny wants to do with the Omni mounts. Uh, oh, Jericho okay. just pulls, Jericho just pulls a license. The HHS one five five Cannibal. Ah, uh, yes, the Super Shotgun, as I've been told it's known by the Breachers. The Super Shotgun. Yes, the double barreled mech shotgun. <sighs> have a look. Have, let's have a look at this thing. Heavy mount, CQB. And you want us to replace a. You want us to 
Replace the mounting on your what? Atlas. Map? I'm uh, my Atlas. Atlas. Jared could just scroll through the catalog a little bit. Or at least try to. I mean, it, the, the Atlas license comes with the Jaeger Kunst. I think it's fine oh. to use them both in tandem. Hmm. Oh, don't, don't worry with the ah uh, oh the Jaeger Kunst. Nah, I don't need that. I mean, the Atlas and Jaeger are pretty good. Oh. Um. Let's see. Flex mount, main mount. Yeah, I suppose we could probably change those to Omni mounts. Yeah, if he, if he can try and save just one flex mount. <sighs> so, Lyrell, you're feeling better, hopefully? Lyrell nods. Not better, but whole. I see. I mean, that's good. That being said, probably a lot to try and handle. Isn't it? If you require it, Lyrell, I can bring in a therapist to help with any issues. Oh, I will shake so head. No, there's no one with enough clearance. Oh. I see. That's true. It's Actually, I will tilt her head, then chuckle slightly. I'm the only person in the galaxy with enough clearance. Oh. I see. Confused. Uh, issues regarding her species. Yeah. Um, Union. HUS. And the Yavin. The Yavin. We've got a lot about some very specific things, and I don't think any union. But there definitely no union has a uh, clearance, especially for knowing about Varam. Yeah. Well, no matter you, no matter what, Sly Brown. If you are. Wishing for any assistance or anything at all, you know you can talk to me. There is something. Oh? Jujuel? I assume you I assume you've put Millie at the at the reactor recharge dock. Yes. Millie has Actually, I did, but she has been persistent in returning to your side at every moment she's able. Yes, please accommodate that request now. Understood. As Judua will just nod as... So I'm happy he's... Uh, as Judua, the Mecha Judua will just nod before extending a hand and, a, and an Orby-type droid... A drone just flies in with the orb of light. I will. I will. Takes the orb. Like, she reaches out a hand, and then one of her tails actually reaches out, and you see the little crystal prongs at the end actually extend outward and slowly grab the Millie orb before bringing it to Lyrell's hand. The reports of you gaining psychic powers are true. Actually quite impressive. Let's hope that she can maintain control over them for now. Impressive isn't the right adjective given the circumstance of their development. Right. Uh, psychic powers at the cost of trauma is probably not a fun time. No, no, guys. I do apologize. Guys, I feel like we should go to an easier topic Lyrell's still trying to get her minds together right. please. That's probably a good Lyrell idea, looks over at you Benny you can tell that she has like 
deep wings under her eyes. I'm glad that you're not a complete psychopathic genocidal cannibal. <laughs> Benny and just nods. Don't worry. We'll get your Shang back. It's going to be difficult um, given that da, 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 We'll get the Shang back. Uh, okay. Did you will? Oh. Yes, Miss Lyrell. What is the solution to the request I sent you? Uh, you can message it to my comms. Can you DM me the request? I do not remember off the top of my head. There's quite a few things I've been having to keep track of. I do apologize. Uh. If you can just DM me it, that'd be great. One second, I'll just... Uh, yes, I have. Is it... I have. Sending... Sending findings to Inbox. I do believe that this is... The best course of action, though I do not know if it will be accepted by by the Queen. Has the blackout been lifted? The blackout over REM over REM communications. Yes. That has been lifted, correct. The knight has been working uh, diligently to, to ensure that it, is, that it was done properly. But... I will then shifts to look over at Bosch. And then she types out a message that she sends to Jericho. <clears throat> what are you just playing Pong on his visor? <laughs> That stops him from seeing, but he's he, he's just spending the time. I think it's just 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 quiet for a few moments. It's like hmm. I think that depends on what we on what the topic it is. I sent you another thing, Glaive. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to say I think so. Can the DM please be aware of some of these things? <laughs> what time myself? I'm not sure. Slade, you can fill PB in on what the conversation is. I will send the DM the message I will send to Ujerko. Thank you. I, I, I just like to have these on hand for bookkeeping and keep yes, track yes. of plot points. Yes, yes, man, thanks. No, no, that is, that, is, that is a good point. That is a good point. 
We have to do a little, a little things behind the scenes. You want to say yes, but can you? I can't say... I can't say I've necessarily seen enough proof to give a definitive answer yet. I see. I expect... Like, I can say that I would expect you would have the intention. I'm just not so sure about his ability to follow through. Mm-hmm. Benny, Eden, Jericho, could we head to the lab? Eden will Kitch. nod softly. Radio. Kitchen okay. first. You you need food. That is true. I, I will shake so head. I still have a belly full of BAPTA. Uh, let's not overload uh, it then. We'll feed uh, her when the BAPTA's out of her system. Good point. Eden will once again scoop up the cat. Wiggling. <laughs> Engage anti wiggle software. Wait, am I still carrying Jericho? You haven't dropped them yet. <laughs> you haven't you dropped them. just got your arms them. folded. No, no, I, I, I'm <laughs> no, no, no. Jericho. It's canonical. He's, you're still holding him. Oh, okay, okay, sure. You're, you're still, still carrying him right hug. now. You, you have not stated before, so you're still carrying him. Okay. <sighs> so in the Starship Velociraptors Advanced Lab. To the Starship Velociraptors Advanced Laboratories. Advanced Laboratories. Once the group is in there, I will 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 just kind of slowly get out of the bed and slowly stand. Eh, I feel like I haven't used my legs in months. Cause you probably haven't. I don't like it. Well, what are your recovery therapy is a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so, Miss Solarell, why are you wanting to bring us here? To do all? Yes, Miss Solarell. Plot, intercept course, jump destination, Legion flagship. That would... huh? Engaging fail drive. Wait, As... we'll back here in time for dinner. Understood, Miss Lyrell. Engaging fail drive. As you all just feel the ship shake and feel the ship shake for a moment, as it is pulled out of the uh, is it is pulled out of the orbital shipyard. Plotting destination. The coordinates matched. Engaging engaging fail drive. In three. Where are we going? Two. One. Dice? As. As. You all feel reality kind of go. Wonky. As. If, for a few moments it feels like reality has just gone sideways. In those brief moments of sideways. When you look at Lywell. It almost looks like there's a secondary overlay image of a. Crystalline form of Lywell before the two we merge in wheel space, and the ship will. And what? And after a few moments, everything returns to to normal. Blink jump successful. Bell jump successful. Recalibrating to ensure smoother transit of next of of next of next fail jump. 
What just happened? I want one of those. We have to. We have, looks up. we have failed jumps. Sorry, not part of the standard Velociraptor. This is you. This is your VIN technology. This is the fail drive. Congratulations, you've experienced for the first. You are the first humans to experience the fail drive. Mm-hmm. What's it? What? We teleported. Basically, and I said I want one. Though the full name of the apparatus is the Veil Breaker Drive. Though that is just semantics. <laughs> to be honest, I'll be worried about tumors, but I don't think I need to be. Oh, hey. <clears throat> As you just hear Jadul clear her throat, Legion, you bitch-ass motherfucker, please report to the Starship Velociraptor at once. When did you get so sassy? She just looked over to Jericho. You'd not believe how much time I've had to to look over the records that the that the Rem have held regarding regarding quite a lot. You know what? I kind of I like assume it. shit's gone down. Seven months is a long time to be by yourself with hostile ships. All right, that's well. true. I like your attitude. Good to you. Well. Yes, Miss Lyran. Engage mooring lines. Engaging mooring lines. <clears throat> As the... Uh, so, we will skip up to the... <laughs> to the flagship of the fleet of the uh, given remnant fleet being boarded by the party. Well, no, Lyle's, try Lyle's wanting Legion to come to them. Oh, right, right, right. Apologies. So, and in fact, as it's going on, like a, a small team of Rem come in and they, they have like hair brushes and damp towels. They like wipe Lywell down, put up like a little cotton and, and scoy out again. And she's still looking tired, but this time she's wearing a proper Power Ranger S mobile schmoovin' suit with the little tiara on it. <laughs> eh, yes, adorable. <clears throat> so, <laughs> so, it so, it takes about half an hour for Legion to walk in. And you all, once again, see the multi-limbed Shifting entity you all right that all of you except for Boshed recognizes as Legion. My run. A while. It is. It is good to see you. I. He just looks to you, then to then to Jaduel. I have a feeling there is much that must be discussed. Why well nods. I have had a lot of time to do a lot of thinking. Of course. Too much thinking. It turns out that the null connections between two cascading individuals in a meta vault are or paralinked, and so while Millie was keeping my conscious in a state of contentment, my subconsciousness leaked into horrors. I see. And are we going to need to fix that? Level shakes her head. It's it's mostly dream fragments now. My mind is not physically large enough to store all of it, but my mind doesn't need to store all of it. As there is a pulse of energy down the tails, as the poplish tails turn slightly more red and Lywell stands up straight or or posture still.
Legion, I have some questions I would like answered. And I will answer them. First, Millie, wall.execute. Lyval holds up the Millie orb floating in her hand. She is you had pre- not responding, you had- but it's clear that she's still there. <clears throat> you had previously stated that you had been unaware, or at least insinuated as such, when you when we first learned of it. Yes. This is not true. Do not try to claim as such. Why did you leave Millie alone for millions of years to run countless simulations? He just looks to you and look and just cat he looks to you, looks away for a moment before he will say it was the wish of the of one of the creators. To, sim- to simulate infinite worlds until they manage to simulate war. Why? Because. Because of the Exodus. What was ordered. What? In the name of Kami, is this fudging Exodus? The Exodus, it is. Successor, if I am to say this, I will have to ask if you are sure that you would want to know this truth, and who you would wish, wish to have it be disclosed to in this room. Jericho just pulls out the glitter gun that Lyrael got him. Do not make me have to ye your last ha, buddy. <laughs> How is he <laughs> aiming that? <laughs> It's a glitter bolt action rifle. It is, it is oh, a bolt God. action rifle that fires explosive glitter shit. Designed for mechas. <laughs> I I know, I know, but many still like Jericho carrying has a bolt him. action bunt gun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Jesus must be fucking flexible. But no, wait. Wait, wait, wait. The Western Systems guy... Gave him a fucking mech weapon? Yeah. I th- thought it was just a regular... I, th- I thought it was a pilot weapon. I thought as well. Hey, hold on. Let me go double check my notes. I, I thought it was a mech weapon. No, no, no. It's a pilot show. weapon, actually. No. Oh, oh, pilot. Okay. It's okay. A, it's, he, no, he does, no, he, they pilot. make mech weapons, but uh, but uh, Tex, Mechina, oh, Tex Mechana only makes uh, pilot weapons, basically. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> Uh, anyways, he is now aiming this fucking bolt action rifle at, uh, at Legion. I. Successor, I will ask again. If you are fully sure you wish to know this knowledge, then who do you wish to expose it to in this room? This. Lyville reaches over and flips a switch. When she flips the switch, it triggers the anti-NHP escape containment field, using the paracausality temporal anchoring tether lines to make a mesh veil so that nothing can get in or out of the room. Even Lyrell? Even Lyrell. (laughs) Ah! You have foiled yourself! (laughs) And, and, And as that... Thumbs on, and Jericho, any sort of external communications lines immediately cut out. Blink space, the veil, all of it. Like Valerie that, just like suddenly any... just pieces, just suddenly disappears as this happens. Huh? Nope. Valerie <laughs> was here. <laughs> Valerie oh. disappears. Half the lights in Jericho's arm turn off. Um, what happens with me? You're, you're fine. Uh, you're fine. You're not purely like a veil or blue you're, space entity. You're physically here. You're physically here. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, also, I'm I'm just gonna drop Jericho. Just go. Meanwhile, on the Union fleet, we've lost all connection to the commander. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's just like that scene in Hellsinger Bridge. 
Where it's just like, dee, dee, dee. London Bridge is falling down! Falling down? <laughs> falling down! London Bridge is falling down, my fair my lady. Fair lady. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I fucking. Uh, I managed to make that rhyme into an actual serious. <laughs> <laughs> it like, just shows how <laughs> good Team Four Star is. Like, they, they masterfully incorporated that meme. It's like, it's like you're fine. You can on the bridge. Find the job. Sing the song if you want to, and then they actually pull it back later. <laughs> this shows you how good Team Four Star like, is. Oh, PBI said thing. Oh, right, <laughs> that just, yeah, how well done the script was. Oh, okay. Apologies. I did not see the message. I will get this organized right now. One moment. Oh. Okay. And after flipping that switch, Lyle then looks to Legion. Jajul is not going to turn this off for the next three hours. Wait, three hours. We're gonna miss dinner! What even is for dinner? Lywell looks. Don't worry. I moved the muffin button in here. <laughs> oh. Alright. <laughs> I moved the muffin button! <laughs> that's that's actually the, only... the first item Lywell ever got was the muffin button. <laughs> what does it do? <laughs> it makes a muffin! Oh shit! Let's go. Uh, okay, here you go. Here's the map, as requested. <sighs> Legion will look to you, Lyrell, then to the rest of the party. You trust him with this knowledge. Currently, there are four people in this room that I trust. We will see what that number is when we're done here. Let's see me now answer the question. Millie, who's the other one? I understand. <clears throat> as he will begin to speak. The exodus was not by choice of the event. On the, the knowledge that the event had gained ever since the appearance of Ra had grown exponentially. The understanding of the veil and its intricacies. Event and much like an ancient story of your, pe of your own people. Icarus, I think the name is. They had flown Flying too, too close, close to the sun? Yes. We had flown too um. close to the truth. And we had figured and we had found something. I am not aware of what that thing is, for all records of it were destroyed following a meeting of the of the, uh, of the Given Council. Whatever was found was so monumental. So strange that Ra himself had had ordered the meeting and put forward the the proposal of Exodus. That meeting took nearly five years. Five years of deliberation, of ch of figuring out what exactly must be done for the good of the event. And in the end, it was decided that Exodus was the best option. That they would leave behind us AIs. The Exodus was a, was why there are no Yuvin left in the galaxy. They left into the Veil. Into the veil. Yes. 
Hmm. Their fate is unknown, but I can only assume the worst. Again, I do not know the information regarding the meeting, as us AIs were told that this did not concern us. It was their fault that Ra's ra that Ra had come upon them again. We did not wish to burden their creations, but the, the the father did not wish to burden the son with his sins, as it were. Again. Again? They brought Ra's wrath on them again. The first time said. first time was with the with the advent of something I suppose wrath is not the correct word. But Ra's interest is perhaps a better one. <laughs> wrath is not the proper word, I do apologize. Alright. What I do know is that Yavin found something. Again, all knowledge of it was destroyed. Something that was all seen right. as a sin in our, in their society. Now, then, of knowledge, what and where is this forge I hear constant mention of but no one will explain. The forge. Reckon was As... close to figuring out where it was. No, he did. Aha! As... As... As you see Legion hold up his hand, and out flowing out a star map of the, lo of the local sector, of all HUS territories, and quite a bit be and about... and quite a bit beyond. And will as it is a highly detailed map of the star sector. The forge was the greatest creation of the event, or uh, the magnum opus, as it were, at the time. One of our crowning achievements, as it were. A mega structure unlike any other, as he will zoom in on a certain sector of space that you will recognize, uh, Jericho. Oh. A massive amount of black holes, all, all focused around a certain area. It was, the forge is as its name would state, a forge, formed around a black hole. A lot of black holes, it would seem. No, that is merely its cover. As he will zoom in even further. To what is very clearly, uh, you don't even need to make a roll for this, uh, Jericho L.A. Rel. Uh, but Bosch or, and Benny, or actually no, he's gonna explain. Uh, as he will kind of zoom in and you will all see a supermassive black hole. Much bigger than the rest that surround it. This is the center of the forge, its core. A supermassive black hole that was found by the event. It is its power source, and it's f it is its fuel and power. All resources, everything. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Then why? Lyrell reaches into her pouch as you see a crystal tail pull out the hammer. Is this not there? That is something I wonder myself. The Forge Master's hammer should be within the Forge, wielded by the AI that, that manages it. Is this hammer powered by the Veil? In part, yes. Jericho slow level slowly looks over at Jericho. I figured it out first. I win. 
but it cannot be fully utilized unless unless it has been given back to the Forge Master. I will drops it back into her pouch. Then that is something we will go over when we arrive there. Yes. Next question. If you have full autonomy, true independence of will and action, why did you wait millions, billions of years for someone to randomly hit a successor to name them the successor of your whole race? That was not my choice alone. We all wanted... It was a long time that we waited before we came up with that. We were lost without direction. We may be independent, but we were always created, well, to help, to serve. We were given free will, yes, but some of us could not function without orders, without a guiding hand. I did my best for them, but I could only do so much. All right. And so the successor protocol, as we called it, was enacted. I would take the fleet, the automated ships, to the to, to deep space, leave them behind a few tests that should they be, should be found and and completed in a way that befitted a Yvin or one like them, that we would return and bring and swear loyalty as, to the species as the successors of the event. I will, Nods. All right. <laughs> she stumbles a bit to the side before her tails grow even wetter and she stands up straight again. Don't push yourself, Lateral. I will. Holds up a hand when Jericho speaks. I'm fine. This is more important. What do you know of the veil? What do you actually, truly know? The veil is another dimension. Or more, more exactly, a space between dimensions. The exact topography is strange and confusing. There are entities within the veil, materials, many things that the Yavin have found over the over decades of exploring it. It was first discovered during the Golden Age, during, during what we uh, what we called the Golden Age of the Yavin, an age of exploration and science and creation, one that was believed that would go on for ages. And it did. And in the end, it would eventually it would eventually end. The veil is strange again. We know Ra resides within it. And that was the first time you incurred his wrath when you broke the veil. Yes. When we had explored, when we had broken into the veil for the first time, we had incurred his wrath. Something about if the records do show something about breaking the, the safety wall that I had created. We do not truly know what he meant. It was then that he set out the rules. And the age of exploration and discovery began anew, with a few boundaries this time. Mm -hmm. Legion? Yes. What? Is it you know about Wa 
that you've been avoiding telling us? Ra is not what he says he is. He is not a god. He no is... shit. Legion just glares over at Jericho. I would suggest you let me finish. Ra is something else entirely. In my own military terms, I would use Scout. His actions, his movements, Everything points to him being a scout. Or perhaps a forward operating force. For what and why, I do not know. That is all I truly know at this time. Ra has kept a tight leash on any information regarding him. What I know is merely speculation. My will slowly nods. I do apologize, successor, if my answers are not satisfactory. Legion, you've not been being honest with me during this conversation, but you've allowed things to slip, things a being of your nature would not do so unintentionally. Fighting the few remnants of the Ravager forces with Neo and Tominus fleets could not possibly use up your time, your energy, your near infinite calculating, your processing, and the Yvin automated system is just that, highly automated, with self-capable repair ships, and many Yvin AI working on it, military vessels that can pilot their own algorithms. You're doing something, something so tremendous that it's taking up nearly all your time and energy. Something you're not willing to tell us. Whose side are you on? Successor, I am on yours, full and truly. And what are you not telling me? He takes a deep breath as he once again holds out the holographic map. The last order of my people, of our creators. The chance to give our dimension a, ch a chance, they said. I do not fully understand it as he holds up a hologram of a structure being created. I was told never to speak of it unless I was ordered to by Anyone who I'd see as equal to them. And thus you are. I do not truly understand the project. I know that it is, or was, a chance, something to help. As the designs are constantly shifting and ebbing, moving constantly into new sh patterns and shapes. My well would slowly step forward for outline having a almost hum of red energy as she walks forward all six of her tails coalescing around and slowly interfacing with the map as Millie also begins to glow up wider and Lywell's back arches almost beyond its limits. No, oh, sir, I... I... will... finally... have... answers... Lyrell, please roll me yeah. a grit check with two degrees of, of uh, accuracy. And grit check. 
All right. <clears throat> Wait, roll it. Uh, hey. uh, actually, once plus, uh, during a session, I get to choose one type of check and have advantage to that check, and I've not actually chosen anything for several months, so I'm going to choose grit. <laughs> Are you allowed 14. to do that? Under the rules? Yes. <laughs> it says any kind of check. And a grit check is a check. It is. It just. If this was D and D, that would definitely be not allowed. This is Lancer. Yeah, anything is allowed. Anything is allowed, and I often go by the rule. Cool. Yeah. No, that's fair. <laughs> I'm not saying not to. They're just like this. Feels like it's entirely Lancer's kind of bullshit. <laughs> You have no idea how much bull stick I've stacked up just to get us to this point. <laughs> Lightrail, it takes you, uh, it takes you about an hour of interfacing with this hologram before you understand. And you pull yourself away as the, as the crystal is shifting constantly between red, blue, and purple. before you finally are able to speak. Okay, wait. Purple is Slayer, red is... Shard. Well, who the fuck is blue? Blackfell's Tales were blue by default. Yeah. Oh. When did they turn red then? I always remember them as being red. Look in the art. You see all that red? Like, like, just scroll up, like, three images to to where Lywell is brushing Nikki's hair, and then the image directly below it. Hamburger. Red. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay, so it was. I have been misremembering them then. Oh. I, I, I don't know what Benny would be doing here. I'm, I'm just going to say he's just hugging Eden. Uh, <laughs> Adorable. Uh, I will, like, her, her, her body start trembling again as, like, three of her tails go limp. She, like, falls to her knees. Successor, are you. Um, Legion, this conversation never happened. Do you understand me? We never, you never boarded the ship. We never had this conversation. Purge all records. Eden, you have to purge. Jericho, y Union, Amnestic, Benui, then... Delete. Huh? This did not happen. Do you understand? This cannot Why? have happened. Why? You haven't I'll really explained tell that you yet. when we get there. But until then, you need to trust me. If you know, then he will know. And he can't know. You know. He oh. as an oh. Uh, so is this something that we know that Ra wants us to not know? If these barriers go down and we know, we won't be here anymore. You... That's why Vecna is gone. He figured out and we can't know. Uh -huh. Eden will look to Lybrell and will nod. Beginning purges of, of memories of the last three hours. Legion will also nod. I will do as you order, successor. One, one of Jericho's eyes changes color. Lybrell stumbles over to her desk, shifts through stuff, and pulls out flash drive. Okay. Jericho, you'd immediately recognize this as Vecno's zip bomb. <laughs> oh no. The thing Lyrell. that eats code. 
Lyro, please be very careful with that. I will turn to Jericho when she takes off her helmet. Sorry. Please oh, do me. not. I do not want to have to dive she, into a she metaphor. She really lunges forward and jams it into into Jericho's interface port. <laughs> oh, thank God. I I I I, th I thought you were going to zip bomb Benny. Oh, no, your neck says she backflips. No, 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 but your nanobots can be. It's gonna hurt. Oh, no. Yes, my nanobots can be. Please do not. They, they, they don't know. They're not, they're not that intelligent. Yeah, they're, I, they're, they're, they're not. Thinking. I can't take the risk. You don't have a subsequent backup drive somewhere. No, I'm currently disconnected from that. I am currently rewriting the information. So once Eden and Ye and Legion are kind of on the floor, googly eyed. <laughs> yeah, they're just kind of just staring yeah. at the wall, just like that, that one eye is now per that one eye is now changed to purple. I was like, uh, like I'm going to need a passcode, like a safe word or or, or passphrase for encryption scrambling. I will shake her head as she digs for more stuff. Uh. Uh, let's see. Something uncharacteristic. Uh, bugs, uh, downers, uppers. She's scrolling for a thing. This should fly the past three hours of Noel connections. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm gonna need that after. No. When I say you can't know, I mean you can't know. Not that it has to be encrypted, but that you can't know. I'll tell yes, you... I am. I am taking the measures needed for that. You see, remember, there's the digital side of my mind, and the... Oh, shit, who, di who dipped? Uh, I think it was Caesar. That was more yeah. Caesar. Okay. Yeah, no. But, okay, there's the, there's the, guy the was... physical... Yeah, I think that the guy's, like, uh, socially tired, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> There's the physical side of my brain and the digital side of my brain. If you do not deal with both in the right way, one will fix the other. If you want me to not know something, I need to encrypt it so that the physical side can't access it, and I then need to scramble the physical side so that it will not remember the encryption. But you'll still have the data behind the encryption somewhere. It needs to not be there. So it'll can... get re when my brain reboots. It'll get registered as junk data and eject. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> just give him brain trauma or something. Just hit him hard. Okay. That, that, okay. that, that literally doesn't work oh. because of what I just said. Okay, something <laughs> unorthodox. Like, if, if it were to come up in normal conversation, the encryption would be undone, and then I would remember. Okay. Okay. Now, does it... is it... subject-related? Like, does it matter if anyone says it? Anyone says it. Uh, anyone says it. I don't know. Make it, make it something like, Oh my god, the bananas are coming from the moon! But so, so, something entirely we do ridiculous. have mass agri cultivation efforts on orbital moons. The bananas do come from the moons. <laughs> <laughs> something ridiculouser than Hey, the uh, quiet Italian family is real the, the Italian family in the corner is very quiet. I will thinks. She thinks. She thinks. She thinks. There's just Eden zonked down the corner next next to. Then Lee she Jane. stands. She stands up on her tippy toes. She walks over. She whispers into into Jericho's ear. Oh, I'm getting a message from the Slayer for this. Most likely. 
Oh, you're making me worried. Oh, God, is it very long? I don't know. I think no! No. <laughs> oh, correct. <laughs> Can I be given information for One second, I have to fix the auto quick. Oh, one second. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I, I just, shit. What's the spelling? <laughs> I do That's apologize. Perfect. I just need it for sake of bookkeeping and shit. Yeah, no, like, because if someone says this passcode, Jericho's gonna remember everything. <sighs> well, well, no, that uh, grave, grave. Okay, grave. I'm saying if a passcode means he'll remember everything, that means it's still stored on his brain and he hasn't removed it. Well, th th that is to say, If it like if someone says it before it's deleted, it's as as Lyril said, we've got what three hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the day so basically, Jericho wants to discuss what is going on before he forgets it all. Yes. Okay. But yes, Lyril stand on tiptoes toes and whisper that into into Jericho's ear. <laughs> Dear God. I just have to hope that the amnestic works properly. Otherwise, I will hands over reconnecting neural pathways I'll use the drug synthesizers. According to union records, this should leave you um, high, zonked out, woofied. <laughs> and it has a code for your nanobots to uh, dismantle the past three hours of neural connections. And then, and then all the nanobots assigned to that task should liquidate themselves. Damn, you really mm -hmm. thought of everything. I will then sits on a chair and looks up at the ceiling as she looks at the Benui swallowed on the floor at Eden and and Legion. <laughs> like Benui is on top of Eden. Eden and and uh, and, and uh, Legion are just kind of just zonked out in the corner, just staring into space. So, what do you then are building? This forge, yes. Lyra shakes her head. No, no, the forge is... It's a prototype to test megastructural engineering. It's... Mm -hmm. It's double-checking your math before even starting the project. Uh-huh. They are building a stellar engine that, when enabled, will mean any veil rifts will close the moment they are opened and cannot reopen. Ra would not be able to interact with this dimension, this universe. It's... You went robot. Yeah, you went robot. <laughs> well, we'll just say that that's just like that the, the thing's already starting <laughs> to work. <laughs> Everything already starting to get done. Hey, Grave, you there? Grave your robot. Yeah, I feel. <laughs> you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> Jericho? Um, Grave, you okay? Just give him a moment. He's probably away from his computer and the earbuds are being weird. Try resetting! Okay, there we go. He's back. Yeah. 
I'm back. Uh, as you were saying. So it's a shield against Ra. Lavo shakes her head. No, it's not a shield. Um, she picks up a mesh thing. So Ra comes through these holes. Mm-hmm. Then she, you know, pulls some threads to make it bigger. And, and he'll force the veil through. What this will do is the moment a hole is opened, it'll immediately be closed by the surrounding threads. It's, it's like, it's not a shield, it's changing a mesh to a, a liquid. I will, will turn on like a little faucet and stick or claw under it. See, even as you try to part it, it still holds together. You can't make a hole. None will stay. It changes the physics of the universe. It, it keeps Ra out, basically. It keeps the veil out, Jericho. Mm, I would lose validity at that. The people of stone are sustained mm. by the veil. That is also true. To use this would have dire consequences. And anything taken by Ra would be lost forever. Indeed. And it's the Avin would lose their ability to veil break. Mm -hmm. And there's no telling what effect it might have on blink space as that utilizes veil to some capacity, if only for an instant. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be able to do that. In other words, it's a way to prevent Ra from ever bothering us again. So we give up much in the we process. Oh, hello there. Hey, sorry, something popped up. No, no, you're mm -hmm. fine. It's alright. It's fine. Uh, Bosch is need... currently on the floor, just glitching out. Yeah, that's good. That's, uh, Bosch was I never expect. actually brought into the womb. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's too. Bosh, you're just, like, sitting in the med bay, just wondering, okay, where did everyone go? <laughs> okay, anyways. Uh, if in Legion intends to finish this, he plans to use it. When it's turned on, my understanding is that it's like setting off a grenade. You can't un-blow it up. Oh, it's not just a active thing. It's 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 if you pour yeast into a cake pan and the cake fooms up, you can't then pick back out the yeast. It's become a new thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why. Ra has such a thing against people using light speed. Force people to rely on blink travel, thus force people to rely on the veil, thus make it so that he's always gotten in and can keep an eye on everything. And we wouldn't be able to afford to ever keep him out. Indeed. And every hole we make would weaken the mesh, and if Legion is right and he is a scout, we'd be preparing ourselves for whatever he's scouting for. In other words, Legion's military analysis, we need to use this thing, but also from a personal standpoint, we really shouldn't use this thing. I will put her head, her head in her hands. Jericho, 
I don't know if I can keep doing this. I know. But I said we're going to get Vecna back. If Ra is just a scout and we can't even... Unless... You... There was an artifact that was mentioned in your meta vault. A spear. Something that could possibly kill Ra. I will take some moment. Yes. I'll tell you, but only because you're not going to remember this. You already learned of the Agri Worlds. Yes, I got kind of a first-hand view of that. So, uh, you don't need to tell me about this. Is, this is not something I'm going to forget. I still know the spirit exists. Like, three hours of erasure isn't going to remove that knowledge. Mm -hmm. Jericho knows the spear exists because it was in the hands of the warrior. Yes. Mm -hmm. What you might not understand is... We tested it briefly. Very, very briefly. We never once used it before locking it away. As far as our very brief estimates can tell, it has... No limitations. If you chart the path it took to reach those planets, it traveled through two stars and a black hole. Its course did not alter. Its acceleration was consistent. Yes, the thing is, is that Legion wants to keep Ra out. We want to get things back from Ra. Ra and whatever forces he has can't invade if we kill Ra. My will stands up. She looks at Jericho. You're going to order me to not do this, and you're not going to remember you did it, so I'm sorry for disobeying your order. I'm going to, wait, wait, what are you saying that I'm going to order you to not do? Remember when we used the, the spear when we were siphoning off energies? through the Force Spear, and it was absorbed by the Faust. Mm -hmm. He turned an entire nuclear blast, a, a cascading NHP. He, he took the energy and made it part of him. Mm -hmm. If we just kill off Ra, then there'll just be a new one. But... Lywills hold, holds up one of her tails. If... the spear... the lines of largeness can transmute energy the same way the force can, then if I absorb Ra, I could take his place. But then you'd still lose Vecna. But he'd be back here. And I'd make sure that the galaxy is safe. But we'd all be without you. I was ordered to be the spear and to protect, so that's what I'll do. Are you sure about this, Lyrell? No, but... I'm gonna do it anyways. Because that's what Lancers do. 
you can you can see that the, the, the frustration of the, the passing of Jericho is just like, damn it, dude, I hate when you're right like that. <laughs> and I just got you back. I don't want to lose you again. I don't want this either. I will order you not to do it. But I want to find a different fucking way. If you can come up with a different way before we do this, okay. then I'll go with it. But we can't kill off the people of stone. If that Union loses blink, use, loses the capacity to blink, there'll be untold trillions of deaths. I've studied your system of transport and shipment. You have so many worlds that can't sustain themselves without supplies from other worlds. That's true, but I mean, Union also dug its fucking hole. Alright, no, we can't use the... We can't let Legion use his thing. And I don't want to lose you. No, I've already got a couple of ideas, but I'm going to forget all this. Or forget mm -hmm. most of this, I should say. But, like, if the first and you are able to transmute stuff using Galvanon Stone, well, then maybe one of us doesn't necessarily have to be sacrificed. We might be able to make use the lance and transmute Ra into a prison. Ra so is give him, give omnipotent him and omniscient. Because he exists, so shall he always, and so shall he always, so has he been. In order to eliminate such a variable, you can't contain it. You can't quantify infinity. You can only have a bigger infinity, and the only way to get an equal or bigger affinity than infinity is to use an existing affinity. Whoever whoever does this will become infinity plus. Even if we tried to use the entire collective hive mind of the people of stone, they've all just become infinity plus and no longer exist as individuals anymore. Jericho just looks at his arm. But the crystal he was given just pops out of the palms like, hmm. Then in that case, if I partition myself, it would leave a me here. You can't just have a and portion, me as... Jericho. Omniscient, all-knowing, all bits and any bits. Hmm. The crystal of the track is like, fuck. Oh, I suppose I can't just make a second me whose sole mission is containing Ra, then. Even your ego's not that big. Uh, no, I, let's just, I want to be explicitly clear that I'm not happy about the solutions open to us. Mm-hmm. As you guys are saying. I want, to, I want to divide by zero and eat it too, god damn it. <laughs> I need you to be here. You're the only one who can look after Nikki and Iris. And... Mm. And I don't want to leave Millie alone. Besides, you're a cyborg. You're gonna live a lot longer than I would anyways. Lambrell, as I mean... you guys, as you both are saying this, 
Legion would all of a sudden stand up. Energy that is running through him changing suddenly. As he will look to you, Lyrell, and you, Jericho, and will simply say, An answer and a path written in blood, written by one who has been undone, written by one who has given much in hopes of giving a new path, one who has sacrificed uh. much and lost so much in hopes of giving his daughter a loving home. Oh, what you caught in there, big guy? Before, as you say that, he will then immediately fall over onto his face. The forge. Before he will just turn off. Well, that was something. Jericho, if we remember any of this, remind me to retune the containment field. <laughs> uh, assuming. <laughs> if we remember any of this, remind me to retune the containment field. God damn it. I mean, memory erasure methods are never 100% anyway. I know. That's why I cooked up a second batch of of nanobots to ensure you don't try to leave something behind as she jabs a vial into your thigh. <laughs> they don't store that kind of stuff. I know. But I also know you better than that. <laughs> I mean, I've got a 3D printer for an art. Holds up his veil. I'm like, I had a 3D printer for an arm. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't pull that shit anymore. Oh, oh, uh, by the way, uh, okay, so I'm going to. So Short is going to eat my memories of this conversation, and then Millie is going to reformat Short so she doesn't have it, and and <clears> then <throat> Millie is going to not have done this using some sort of simulation advanced pair causality math. So so, but but there's something important I need to tell you. Uh, a, a message. Mm -hmm. I I I don't know why, but I feel like I need to tell you. You have to stop being. Such an ignorant mortal, and just use it. <laughs> I don't think those are your words. Oh, I will shake some head. I tried to think if that makes my head hot, but it was very important that I tell you that. <laughs> just use. Hmm. Jericho holds up his hand. As you hold up your hand, small fractals of light come off it that then seem to solidify into almost 3D structures as they are now the dispenser nozzles and platform of a 3D printer. Wrong 3D printer, you goddamn bitch! <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> You better be happy that she doesn't that she can't hear you right now. <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason Jericho is saying this out loud. <laughs> Still very brave of him. <laughs> As you start imagining the, 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 the it it's the crystal particles kind of like fade away and then new ones refract and solidify and it's now just like a Vehicle orb of thousands of little crystalline light nanites. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no, she can hear you. I just figured something out, I think. Before when I had when I didn't have the veil arm. 
I was limited by the size of the uh, nano printer that could be fitted into it. I think Slayer has unknowingly. Oh no! I know exactly what I've done. I've just, I've just kind of been flabbergasted. It's taken you three IOL months to realize it. <laughs> Jerry has been focused on, on, on doing things, not testing his capability. So but the fact that I've got, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he, he priorities. He, he's got an infinite 3D printer now. <laughs> as you oh, think that, and think that, that the sphere has a second one and then a third one as I start overlaying until it's almost filling the room. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> it was like, oh, fucking space magic. I will, like, slowly gives Jericho a hug. You can't be a space wizard. They are the bad guys. <laughs> Oh, I have no intentions of being a wizard. <laughs> I was just planning us to be downtime and shit. <laughs> I will then looks up at Jericho, looks at a watch. My vision's going fuzzy. I think Shard's getting started. Jericho? Right. I'm scared. Don't worry. I'll be here. His his eye flickers and rotates a little. Ah. Well, that's ready. Come on. Let's take a nap. I'm sorry about the severe splitting migraine you're gonna have for the next two days. I kinda had to rush in. I had to rush merging those nanites with the zip bomb. Yeah, that's that's gonna give the that's gonna that's just gonna lag the nanites, really. That's going to be the headache. Erico, you know this isn't my field of expertise. <laughs> no, I know. Don't don't worry. What's what's gonna what's gonna give me more of a headache is that I'm gonna feel like I've had the hangover of a lifetime tomorrow, for when I wake up. I I fucking hate amnes amnesthetics. And you're gonna have to figure out your veil on can do things all over again. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I've been partitioning data. <sighs> and again, I'm sorry. This is not my field of expertise. And as trust me, I'm I'm gonna have. The worst hangover tomorrow. I'm going to uh, figure out one my moment, veil I'll be right back. I feel like other bits are missing. It, it, it's going to feel like I went on a drunken road trip. Which, knowing me, I'll just go shrug and go, okay, that that, that seems to be Tuesday. So, th th it'll keep me, th th they don't be safe, but I mean, I can't say it'll be... Th th there is a chance it'll be recoverable at some point. As I will hug Jericho around the waist. And... Jericho? Mm. You're a true friend. Took you long enough to figure that out. And you're my friend. Uh -huh. And with those words, both of your visions would fade. As suddenly, mm. both all of you find yourselves once more in... Once you guys find yourselves in the med bay about three and a half hours earlier. And a whole day later. Yeah. <laughs> Lywell slowly shifts, sits up, lays back down. <laughs> Gravity hot. I apologize, Miss Lyrone. That is that oh, is un one unfortunate. So loud. I am sorry, Miss Lyrell. That is an unfortunate consequence of being in BAPTA for nearly a month. 
Uh, oh. BAPTA is supposed to not cause headaches. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, oh, I, it's in my nose. <laughs> so as so as everyone is slowly recovering over the next two days of honestly everything that just happened. <laughs> uh, there will be a as everyone is recovering from uh, everything that happened over the next few days, uh, Eden would, uh, there would eventually be, as Lyrell is finally been cleared to walk for herself and everything. Uh, everything has been cleared. Lyrell, you can now walk by yourself again and whatnot. Uh, the Lancer party of... <laughs> The Lancer Party would be brought before, uh, would br be brought before Eden once more, as you guys are now going to get over Pandora. Uh, and so uh, as I will, she's wearing like a, she's wearing like a 90s print leotard with like the fuzzy leg things as she's slowly doing like little exercises. <laughs> Uh, PB, yep. are the boys on, on the ship? Yes, the boys have been brought aboard. Oh boy. So, you guys are, have been brought before Eden. As, uh, there, as she has, as she says that there is something important that needs to be addressed. Mm. Like, well, they are, you know, she has like a, a, she has like some clutches or these bobbing around her. <laughs> due to your ex due to your impressive performance and upholding of your duties union has union will will dignify that your duties and achievements deserve a far higher reward than it would be normally given for such actions the liberation of an entire world is no what easy feat and so, in turn, a world shall be gr a world under Union's control shall be granted in turn to each of you. Hmm. As she points to uh, Benny, Lyrell, and Jericho, and also Bosch, you're there, but she <laughs> Eden's still trying to get the paperwork sorted for you. What do you What do you mean by that, Eden? Yeah. What I mean is my words. You all are now owners of worlds, planets. What? What? You understand I that... I can't own anything. You understand that normally uh, missions are, play, are paid based on hazard pay, correct? Every mission has its own hazards, and of course you're rewarded uh, exceptionally thanks to that. You understand that, correct? What? Right? It... this is part of the contract. Alright. The hazards... The, the world? Yes, actually. But that will be... I, I'm... Let me continue the ceremony. And also, can you take, like, two steps backwards? I can hear your process over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Zian just, like, takes a few steps backwards. I didn't I even realize it could be that loud. My head. I will so so Eden, could you turn off the lights? Eden just nods and snaps her fingers. I I understand that we all blacked out for a moment for a bit. I'm huh. You guys got uh, Lyrell, you're still wondering about lights. Anti photon visor for the win. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel the po the photons assaulting my forehead. Eden's <laughs> <laughs> trying to say something. <sighs> uh, right. Uh, no, 
planets or something. Yes, you all have essentially earned a planet. Uh, there's a few to be chosen from, uh, and for answering part of Lyrell's question... Uh, wait, what was your question again, Lyrell? <laughs> I well said what and turn and turn off the lights. Oh, all right. <clears throat> essentially, what you will essentially be due to the fact of the mission that uh, lancers are paid via are paid of basically a <laughs> fixed rate, followed by hazard pay of mission. The more hazardous the mission, the more generous the pay. I had sent you all on a two on a two year mission to liberate an entire planet. In Union's name. And the risks involved were great, and thus the and thus that was unless your rewards were meant to be great as well. But given the fact that the risks and a lot of what was involved turned out to be a lot different than what we were expecting, it has resulted in the rate of pay increasing, as it were. Essentially, because of the fact that you have, an, you have liberated an entire planet, each of you should be given a planet in turn as reward. For there is no true way that any monetary or physical value can be given any other way. And she looks to you all. Any other questions? Benny has a loading screen trying to process this. <laughs> it's just he's having trouble processing that he now owns a planet. <laughs> they, like, like, he, he'd loading. say loading. they own a planet loading. now. Loading. Because, like, just points at Benny, so it's just like the, the, the mood. <laughs> you you better pick a good one, Eden. I will pick one that I will we... that'll be nice. Uh, I'm gonna call it on a resource world. You can all choose the planets later. It will again the communication blockade is still in effect, but and I've already filed all the paperwork and it's ready to be transferred as soon as the blockade is done. But essentially, congratulations. You have been given one of the highest rewards Atlanta can be given. What you do with it and how you manage it is entirely up to you so long as, well, you don't break any of Union's rules. And it's always the biggest caveat. But for now, I can see that you all required rest. I will give you all time to rest and recuperate before I hand you the next mission. Benny's just gonna hop on her shoulders. Thank you, Eden. Lyrell slowly shuffles around, then there's a clatter as she falls over a chair because she can't see it. Oh. Lyrell, do you need me to carry you to your room? I can dump. No, no, I'm carrying you. No, I, I got it. I just need to find the light switch jettisoning emergency escape pods. Hey. Eden just yeah, immediately not. resend that order. <laughs> I'm carrying you, and that is an order. Oh, Wiggly cat. <laughs> Do you want me to get off? No, no, I can carry both of you. You're both like grapes. Mm. You're both like a bunch of grapes. Very light. As she okay. starts carrying both Benny and Lyrell. <laughs> hey, when you carry your back, you want to continue he that heavy. Line? He is my brother. <laughs> I don't know why it actually sounds honestly probably 
Maybe not. I don't know. I don't. Maybe I don't feel like white right now. Come on. <sighs> but for now, you all will. Get, so <clears throat> we will do a time skip for you all. As a time skip of how long? I'm going to say about a month. That is long enough for Jericho to get the Warship Tyrannosaur mostly up to spec with his new powers. <laughs> now, now, I will say that Jericho does not actually remember that he can just make anything with it. That's kind of like endgame power that was being teased. Yeah. Yeah. You're telling me we're not we're not at an end game. Well, you know, there's a difference between like being in the end game and the end of game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No. That being said, with what, like, if Jericho just remembers that, oh yeah, I might aren't like this veil can indeed be a nano printer. That's still enough for him to get most of the parts he wants. Like. If he was actually using it as the infinite printer, he would have the warship a lot, the warship tyrannosaur completely up to spec, not just mostly. And so, the, I mean, it is parked at the biggest shipyard in the galaxy, so it, it, it is exactly. parked at a literally medium sized shipyard right there. Eden's fleet is now also right there, so yeah, no, this is this is like. Yeah, he he can yeah. get most of the retrofit done. Uh, so, yeah. uh, for Lyrell, after she has fully recovered from the thing, the thing, uh, the night of being spicy. <laughs> so this is also like a month later. Jericho's gonna come in and check this. So I didn't follow up on this back then, but now that you're feeling better, did. What's the situation with, like, you and Shy? I will slowly <laughs> looks up. She sits up. She gets out of bed. She takes a few steps. She flops down on her, on her face. Ugh. I feel like I've spent the past nine months in a Baptist tank. No, she's only spent about a month. <laughs> and she pulls herself up. Sits in her captain's chair. Looks to Jericho. So, Shard. Mm-hmm. Well. Um. I think... Um, that you should ask her. So you two are technically reconciled. I will sighs as like her shoulders heave, and you just watch as a pair of red horn, red crystalline horns, seem to junt and grow out of her forehead before looking back up. The purple tails are now a deep reddish purple, as I will's eyes seem to have a fractaling crisp. Still in Iris. Mm-hmm. We did not expect to meet you again, repeated once more. Well, I mean, you and Laurel have to look out for you. Nope. Jericho? I think we lost him. You're going robot again. Today we have lost the Jericho. <laughs> Today is a quite terrible day, for we have lost the Jericho. Hold on, I need to put the kitty in kitty jail. Hold on. He was a good man, a drunkard, a bit psychopathic, but trustworthy. We will remember him for the great innovations he made for mankind. All unwilling, but made nonetheless. Okay, no kitty jail. 
No kids in jail? Okay, she does not need to go into kitty jail yet. Oh, okay. She's on kitty bail. Okay. <laughs> kitty probation. <laughs> okay, so back to the conversation between Lyrell, between uh, Shard and Jericho. I was like, well, I mean, you're part of Lyrell, so I've got to make sure you're all right. Us? All right? That is unimportant. Inconsequential does not matter. I think it matters. As does Lyrell. And so here we are, right here, now, present. Well, how are you and Lyrell doing? Like, you're getting along, yes? Knees are tricky. Hmm. <laughs> You're not quite used to having a physical body, I assume. Or control over the physical body, I suppose I should say. Control. Movement. Puppeting. We always had. But this is not that. Psionics. Psychic. Telekinetics. Mm. Movement from without, but now in. How you can does just say one it I'm getting used to. knee? I got from that was something about a knee. How does one knee? <laughs> um, how does one knee? With how practice. does one knee? <laughs> we are the knights of knee. Eh. You just see her reach out for something, but her fingers don't reach it, and she just continues reaching out. Limbs are yeah. short, ineffective, impractical, restraining. <laughs> They're definitely not like psionics. Then one of the tails reaches out and, and like just a drink cup wrenches itself from the cup holder, bringing the actual cup holder with it before gouging on the claw, spilling the drink onto the floor. <laughs> yeah. You... She needs practice. Yes, a lot of practice. We are now as one. We mm -hmm. share. We do not hide, conceal, consume. But we still protect God. We will mm -hmm. fight. We will act to ensure safety. Good. Security. No harm. Who? Short says, turning her head slowly until the like neck reaches its limit, and then it tries to turn her more, and Short suddenly goes, yeah. Yeah, no, no. Physical body has limits. It'll tell you when you get near them. <laughs> Slowly, she puts her hands on the other side of her head, and, and with a shove, there's a crack sound, and she's like, "Ow!" Yeah, don't, don't do that. The the, the physical body has limits. Uh, crystal, veil. Psionics meld, flow without restraint, uninhibited, mm. unconstrained, practical. 
Yeah, no, being physical kind of sucks. <laughs> she slowly nods with like a sullen expression. <laughs> why, do, why do you think I augment myself so much? You have a cybernetics fetish and you're an un unredeemable pervert. <laughs> no, I'm trying to overcome my physical limitations. <laughs> you exceed your own perverted goals. Exuberance. You... Untold indulgence. <laughs> You're really not giving me any good faith here, are you? Faith is for the weak. <laughs> Damn, that's a, that's a powerful line. It's a line, at least. Mm -hmm. Then Sword slowly subs over as the ho as the horns just retract and Lyra looks up blinking, rubbing her eyes, there's like watering around them. <clears throat> I'm sorry she was rude. She's a bit She's her. I, I don't think, think she's learned that there's a difference between thinking and speaking. <laughs> Maybe. That being so said, I can appreciate her honesty. Even if her, she's not quite. Her only experiences with you for the longest time was just the bad memories. Yeah. I, I think she'll warm up to you as she learns more about you. As she socializes, I... Uh, I think she pulled my every muscle in my neck. Oh, no. She probably did. She's not used to having a physical body. You might need to teach her... My boba. Lyra looks at the cup on her tail, Spike. No. Yeah, she is not used to having a physical body. <laughs> You're gonna have to teach her how to maintain her psychic abilities. Mm-hmm. I will flip tons of car presses one of the buttons in front of her visor. Can we get maintenance up to the bridge? We need a new cup holder on on Captain's chair. <laughs> I can Um, PB? Yeah. Also, uh when when you're done with this, uh is it possible for me to do something with the boys? Uh yes. I, I was gonna uh, I assume that that the Benui is also there. Oh no, she he's spending uh, all of his time with Eden. Oh, okay. I mean, you know, man's man's got his honeymoon to plan and all. <laughs> Wait, did I miss something? Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you did. <laughs> Eden and the married. bunny are apparently now married somehow. <laughs> I mean, I kind of saw this from the day he from like when he first said he pledged his soul to her. So, so I imagine Jericho's explaining this. In fact, why don't you actually explain that? I was like, wait, honeymoon? Oh, yeah, no. The the bunny and Eden are married. Lyrell blinks. All her tails flow out, growing spikes as the horns just immediately shoot right out. <laughs> and, and with beating, pulsating, crystalline eyes, that is not our grandpapa. <laughs> and shall no. never be nine That's... zilch <laughs> unallowed. <laughs> it's okay, Shard. Come down. Calm down. Not like that. Shard like is hovering in the air from psionic energy. <laughs> Shard, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Eventually, the aura fades as the crystals slowly start to sink back in, and she's like, This will not be allowed, tolerated, permissible. And, and yeah, then she just disappears as, as sure. I was just there, and she's like, Um. Can you tell her her memories of Benny are kind of skewed? Well, I will kind of pouts a little. I agree with her. 
<laughs> I get that. Your 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 interactions with Benny have been with via Pandora, where he has been apparently not himself. I'll give him a second chance, but mm -hmm. he will never be be my grandpapa. No, that's fair. Also, he, Eden doesn't Jericho. Blink. Hey, PBM. Yeah? Is it possible if I can go? I'm, I'm getting quite tired of this light. Oh, yeah, no, go mm -hmm. If you want to leave, you can leave. We're wrapping up. I, I do believe... Yeah, yes. I do believe we are wrapping up. Uh, I, I was planning on, like, wrapping up, being quick, but yeah. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have, like, when, three when months group... of roleplay I'm trying to get in. <laughs> yeah, when, right. when, when your group wants to roleplay... Oh, trust me, the amount of shit I had planned with this PB. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I will yeah. then just look down at Jericho and be like, the crystal spikes are stuck in the wall and I can't move. <laughs> Jericho's left hand going into into an art cutter. Let me, let me, let me get you out of uh, hello? Jericho? Hello? Um, Jericho, your voice... Is you... my voice connection just being shoddy? Apparently my voice yeah. connection is being shoddy. Yay! Mm. Shitty Wi-Fi. Okay, but so what did you say? Jer Jericho's arm just turns into an art cutter. So like, let me get you out of there. And I think that is where it will end with for this, with Jericho taking the time to get Lyrell's tails unstuck. Yes. Yeah, we'll... Mm -hmm. uh, we'll okay, but we'll just say that uh, Benny's... Uh, Benny's caught up with his boys. No, no, no. Um, is gonna introduce Benny's them to... Benny's catching up with his boys. No, let me, let me finish. Benny's gonna introduce them to uh, the project thing. You know? Oh, uh, yes. That. That. Also, yep, we'll be very well. excited hearing about it. <laughs> Actually, would Wendy even fit in that? Yes. Yeah, she would. Anyways. <clears throat> so, after you guys are... After the month and a half that you guys... Or the month that you guys have had to recuperate, relax, and enjoy some time... Away from the constant life and death struggles. You guys like, are... Like, it's not going to be a month. I, I think Lywell is going to be like, my ship can teleport? Uh, yeah, Jadul will go over the, everything over the course of, of, of the month. I am saying a month for everyone to recuperate. Oh. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, Jericho gets his Bismarck, re re revamps his mechs. He's now got, you know, his own ship. He can resupply, upgrade, get the finishing touches on. Yeah, oh, yeah. And giving... like, like, he sends like three separate requests like, there's, for there's, individual yeah. NHPs to get, Eden. Jericho! <laughs> Let me speak. Get the MDM. Yep. You guys can send me a list of things you want to do for the downtime stuff, and I will give okays or whatever. Yep. And do role play if you guys want, but yep. In ger in general, <clears throat> you guys are eventually after the month's end. You guys are called. E you guys are called into uh, the bridge with Eden once more. This is after the whole thing with the moons and with the planet mm -hmm. giving. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you guys have had time to relax, recuperate, and all that, and yep. Eden. Is standing before you all, with a it on in the map room, with mm -hmm. a hologram of the area that. Uh, one moment. I'll just use this one. Well, I'm just using this one just for convenience. Apologies. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But she is standing in front of the hollow map on display as she will look to you all and, and say, we are approaching, essentially, we are approaching a point in, the, in this war that has been need to happen. 
with the blink gate's fuel sorted and its parts beginning to be delivered to the system, I feel that we can be able to devote the proper resources to dealing with the Ravager threat. Oh. We, we have uh -huh. received uh -huh. intel from the HUS Senate regarding regarding information regarding not only the Ravager's home base, but why exactly it has been so difficult to take. As she will hold out her as she'll raise her hand to the image on display, and it will shift to the to the alleyway of it will shift to the alleyway of black holes. Their home base is the forge. The forge. Mm -hmm. Oh. I will raise her hand as she reaches into a pad and pulls out a note. I found this. It says, Bring Hammer to Forge Master. Smiley face. Yes, Ravager? I figured. Was that the mm. Level shrugs. The Forge is... Well, Lyra and Jericho, you both know much about the Forge. Uh, more than anyone here, being data error, Legion. Data error, data error, data error. Apparently, I knew more. Hmm, strange. I uh -huh. got another note saying, look at the black holes. It's kind of, it looks like it was written really fast. Well... The forge is located in this area, and, well, unfortunately, Legion does not have the exact, uh, does not have exacts on its location. Apparently, it was something that the forge master requested before Legion and the Yvin remnant fleet went into deep space. So, Legion doesn't know where the forge is hidden amongst all these numerous black holes. He knows it exists. He doesn't know where exactly. And he believes that the Forge Master is being worked against his will. Or is acting I... against his will to work for the Ravagers. That's terrible. We need to go save him. Agreed. If only, mm -hmm. if only Legion knew where it actually was and we could just go there. But I'm sure we'll be able to find it. Well, we know the I location. Mean, this out. We know the location e of where it is. But... Unfortunately, that is not enough to go off of. And she will look to Jericho, and she will look to all of you. There's only one ship in the galaxy currently that could hopefully, that could only, that could hope in being able to breach the alleyway and get to the forge. And be able to set up a beacon to allow a fleet, uh, while Union, HUS, and and you've been remnant forces to t to to be able to j blink jump, veil break, or whatever in. Mm -hmm. There's only one ship that can do that, and Lyrell, you are its captain. <gasps> we'll forward the mm -hmm. the soundtrack to all ships. <laughs> Your ship will be a vanguard. Will be the, will be essentially running the scout operation. Due to, due to the nature of this area, you'll have to travel via normal means for a little bit. I've but, been meaning to stress I mean, test it. The only other systems. ships. Jericho, as much as I would like to say that your starship would be capable. The only other ship that could would be mine. Jer it's not ready yet. Uh, yes, that is also one of the things. The reason that the Starship Velociraptor is the only one capable is not only because yours is still needing work, but also because of Millie and Jadul. That too. I could I could possibly transport a ship through that, but I cannot bring the entire fleet. And one ship at a time would take too long. Mm. We need to blink jump or veil break, depending oh. on the ship type. 
into it. All right, no, the only other ship, like one, the Velociraptor has a veil drive. Mine only has a blink drive, but no, while both ships are the only one, while both ships physically are similar in capacity, indeed, it is, it is the matter of the crew. Indeed. As mine currently doesn't have one. That will be worked on. It is currently mostly made by subalterns. That will be worked on in time, I, but... As I said... As I have said as well, as... you guys, you your team, Lyrell... The mission will be to approach the area, and and when you reach the forge, to initiate in it, to activate a blink space relay, which mm -hmm. I which I will be providing. You will activate it and send a signal through. Once the signal has been sent, we will begin procedures to to bring the bring the United Fleet towards the Ravagers and take the forge. I'll tune its sub frequency to the Starship Velociraptor theme. Of course you will. <laughs> oh wait, does that mean you'll finally join us for once, Eden? Yes. I cannot join you on the journey as I am working with the HUS Senate and Legion to organize the entire fleet that will be moving towards this point. Yeah, that's that that's a lot better than uh, Yay, finally. But I will indeed be able to join in battle. And something I will say here and now. We will be taking the forge, and we know for a fact that the that the Ravager is there. Under no circumstances is anyone to engage the Ravager save me. I can take him. No, you can't. But until we receive before before the loss of the of the Heaven's Gate confirms that the Ravager is at least an ancient NHP, perhaps having already ascended to Idol. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant Ravagers in general. No, yeah. the Ravager. Oh, the okay. Leader. Yeah, I'm not gonna be going in with a death wish. I am the only one who would be capable of taking on such a threat. That's why I'm saying this here and now to ensure that this is set for the record. Should he uh, should he uh, be found by any team that will be sent in after the after the invasion has begun, I'll I'll deploy immediately to face him. He's a you you know I'll be joining either way. No, Benny, you're gonna be staying with the, with the team. Mm -hmm. But. You didn't just kind of move up me. to Jer to you didn't just moves up to Benny and like puts a hand on his shoulder. Benny. You may be something not you may be a bit more than human, but this is an HP that's probably ascended to become an Eidolon. Something that can grant true death. You made it out once. You don't get second chances like that twice. He's a you not without a lot of preparation, at least. Ethan, you know I am spiritually with you until your demise, right? I know. I'm just saying that you can't fight with me here. As much as I know you wish you could. This fight will be far more dangerous than anything you've faced yet. And I am, again, the only one who could possibly take it on. In hopes of being able to do it. Fine. Good. Now. Now, Lancers. You accept this mission. To find the forge. Uh, and, of course. And open up the gateway of, and open up the gateway of hell to let us in. So we may take down the Ravager... And finally bring peace to the sector. I will salutes and does a little courtesy. Very good. Supplies have already been arranged. Odd question. Yes. If we defeat the Ravagers, who gets to have control over them? 
they will be defaulted back to HUS. It is their people, after all. Yeah. I suppose that's fair. Any, sure any, any given technology to. will be transferred to the REM, as they are the successors. And anything else will be transferred over to Union as, as appropriate. For whatever transfers over to Union, I want to call Debs. I will see what I can do. Thank you, Eden. Now then, supplies have already been have already been requisitioned and sent over to the Starship Velociraptor. Any equipment that will and 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 a fresh and thanks to a and thanks to some help from Legion on the fabricators as well. I need to get myself another couple of those. You'll you'll be able to produce any equipment that you need along the journey, and huh. you will have. I got the strangest feeling I'm supposed to tell you something, Jericho, about that, but I can't think of what it could be. <laughs> Eden will just look to Eli Rel, just a little confused. I see. Um. So, and and I am aware. Uh, Eden just looks to Eli Rel. Uh, she he she will look to Lyrell and will, uh, say, the most efficient route would be would be along the the fuel the fuel depots if I if I'm reading the maps correctly. Mm hmm. And be good chance for the starship velociraptor to refuel as needed. No matter what, the course shall be set by you. But this is the recommended path. All right, I'll get in contact with with the crew and see to it that it is done. Of course. <clears throat> now, Lancers, do what you need to along the journey. Prepare. Do everything you can, and in the end, once it, once this mission, once this final mission is done, we'll break open the gates of hell and show the Ravagers what Union is made of. Show and show that nothing will ever be without consequences. I want to be cheesy and say, let us rain hellfire down upon them. I will allow it. Can I order, can I get some extra ham with that? <laughs> and with that, you are dismissed to get ready. And that is where we'll leave off for today. Hey, boy. Mm-hmm. The session actually ran on a bit longer than I expected, mostly because I was not expecting Slayer to be back yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you see, we got to the Scottish Festival at about 10, and, you know, by the time it was 3, you know, five continuous hours of Scottish Festival is a little draining. <laughs> Understandable, honestly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <sighs> that but... was that was a lot yes I hope you all had fun I know I did and that is where we'll end mm -hmm. off today's session as well I hope we can and I know for a fact we'll be able to all join up again next week yeah that, this is this is very nice <sighs> holy shit that's well, I I already yeah. have plans for when we get there to fight the Ravager. <laughs> Eden, uh. Eden made a mistake. Oh. Yes, Eden made like well the Lancer promised to not fight the Ravager, but she never addressed Millie or Shard. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like okay, so so you're an ancient <clears throat> NHP. Well, I got an even older Eidolon. And psychic cat powers. I feel like at this point, this is one of the orders all everybody's gonna disobey. <laughs> so Pretty much. To, to Lancer, I imagine this: the Lancer team's heading in, and he is like, "Okay, like, well, open up, open up the line so I can go in there and fight the Velociraptor." And I was like, "Okay," and she opens the line, and Eden steps into the vault as the dimensional temp, as the dimensional securing goes online, and she's and he's like, "Like, well, like, well, don't you?" 
<laughs> I know. I and, and, I did you the right order. As then Lightwell looks to Jericho, is like, okay, so we're gonna go take out the Ravager now, right? Yep. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking of more of all of us just joining her. But Man, that also Operation works. the Expendables. <laughs> God damn it. Jericho, just, why is this mission clones, sir. why is this mission called the Expendables and why are we Suicide Squad members one through four? <laughs> <laughs> it's a reference to an old cradle movie. Wait, 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 where is it? There we go. Found it. It was an old cradle movie. <laughs> We're just clones, sir. We're meant to be expendable, not to me. <laughs> <laughs> that that is the.